Boom. Welcome to the RTM Podcast, Season 3, Episode 4. You don't know, Young Spray, Big Bad Spray. Here with my co-host. Hi, everyone. Cream. Queen Ice Cream. <laughs> you get me today. we got a very special guest, Car. I think he's flowers today. You get me? Yeah. Some proper flowers yeah. today. Big up Stunner Man for the last episode, Definitely. though. Big episode. Check that out. Big up Stunner. Big you up. Big you up. But today, we got some flowers to give to the Queen. You get me? Of um, garage, of everything. Fuck it. Yeah. You get me? Vocals. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Miss Kelly LaRue, you get what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming here today, Kel. My pleasure. Yeah, Thanks thank you for coming. Being. I appreciate <laughs> it you. because obviously we don't have a lot of girl guests, female yeah. guests. I think we've only had Terry Walker and um, Miss Gucci. And Coel. I can't say Coel. Coel's like a brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my cousin still, yeah. but okay. I'm not going to include Coel. Okay. We, we've only had Miss Fair Gucci enough. and then things, so I thought, nah, we need yeah. some more girls, creams mm. on me as well, yeah. like, need more female energy, da 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 da. So, due for my pal, Kel, The Rock, um, I think she did those, a lot of flowers. She was here before all these other people. Thank you. You get what I'm trying to say? And, um, and you come. To me, it's to the James English, which I respect. She deserves to be on James English. James English holler at her. I don't but, know who James English is. Yeah, because... I know you, though. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? She knows me, though, for everybody else. You get what I'm saying? For everybody else, she don't she don't know James English, but she knows Spray. But anyway, yeah. no, respect for coming to you, girl, man. Yeah. You get me? She's had, like, a couple UK top 10 hits and all that. You get what I'm saying? But we'll get into that. Classic. You get me? My love. So do you. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, boom. You know that one there. But yeah, um, thanks for all the PayPal comments. I'm going to read out some stuff at the end of the show, some messages from the PayPal, because I want you lot to donate more. So like, obviously, if I read out your messages and all that, that should make you want to donate more, you get what I'm saying? So boom. I don't know if you've seen the show before, but like, basically, we start with like a background check, like where you were born, um, where you grew up, if you can... I remember, oh, I remember where I grew up. Yeah, if you can help me. Where, <laughs> where, was, you born? where was you born? <laughs> now you're old still. <laughs> I, I, research, I research you still. I re- but you look good for your age. Thank still. you. So I'm Amazing. not old. No, you're not. I'm old not. still. Now, now, you, now you're old still. Take that back. Take that back. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. I'm old as well. I'm, I'm young. Old. You're not old. I'm old. I'm you're old. Young. Old spray. Old I'm spray. fresh. But it surprised me. I done my research and it surprised me how young I was how old you are how young I was was. it surprised me age is an honour anyway yeah 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 come on (laughs) it is an honour you're absolutely right (laughs) I repeat I was born in Hackney babe great for your age I was born in Hackney alright boom in mother's hospital mother's yeah it's not there anymore I think it's a buck of flats now Mm. Um, I grew up in East London I grew up in Forest Gate I grew up Gate yeah I grew Mm. up in Plasto I grew up in East Ham Um, my mum's still in um Forest Gate, my dad's in Stratford. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And then I, when I left home, I was 22 and I moved to Surrey Keys. Now, before you left home when you were 22, mm-hmm. go yeah. back. Yeah. Go back. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're going yeah. to. Where's your mum and dad from? Um, so, my dad was born in England, mm-hmm. um, but of Jamaican parentage, mm-hmm. and my mum was born in Jamaica. Oh, okay. She came here when she was 13. Oh, right. right. Thank you, Mama, right. for coming here. We got Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you go to primary school? I went to Altmore. What area is that? Altmore Infants, East Ham. Oh, was that East Ham? Yeah. yeah How yeah. was that? Uh, I loved it. I loved it. It's funny though because I remember. So we lived. On, we used to live on Caulfield Road, mm. and you know, a lot of kids nowadays they don't understand racism like how we understood it. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, I'm older, so it, you know, because um, people can't really say those things to you anymore. And I remember there used to be this little kid. I think he used to go to. I think it was Latham, which was up the road, which was a little bit there. It was Latham. A, Latham. It was like a junior oh. school. Okay. And he used to when he used to walk past my house and see me playing out. He always used to like call me a nigger. You know what I mean? And I used to run in the house and get my mum. I was only little then, you know. Um, but just still. little things like that. I remember yeah. that, mm-hmm. you know, from, um, from going to that school because he would walk past the house and my school was just up the road from there. And his school was, I think, I think the school was like round the corner, but it was like, he, that was his route, basically. He used to walk past my house. And always just call you a nigger. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? Yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. did you, have you got any siblings? I do have siblings. So I was an only child for 10 years and then my dad has a son so I've got a brother mm-hmm. okay my brother's called Kane mm. and then on my mum's side is my like mum 50 like, like Kane from power or is he a good boy he's a good boy okay, he's a dad he's, 
He's a chartered surveyor. Mm. He got, he's, he's a property owner. He has multiple properties. He's a good boy. Oh, he's okay. very inspirational. He's a great dad as well. Yeah, um, okay. yeah big him up. Uh, and do you know what? He used to be a model. Really? Mm. Yeah. And then he was doing so well because he could dance as well. My dad's a dancer. So my brother was a really good dancer. And he's half Chinese. So he's beautiful. And um, Is he gay? I just said he's got kids. Oh, no, no, no. You said he's modelling and beer dancing and but don't worry about that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'm going mad. You can't yeah, dance I'm going model. mad. I'm going mad. I'm going you mad. are going mad. I'm going mad. Mm-hmm. Go on. And um, he just said, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I think because he just felt like models were stigmatised as being dumb. Mm-hmm. And he was like, so then he went to uni and he started to become a chartered surveyor. And, you know, now he's doing that. Oh, you got a kid, man. Yeah. And then on, so on my mum's side, my mum got married to a Jamaican man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he had two daughters. So my mum adopted his daughters. So I've got two sisters, Nikki and Donnet. Mm-hmm. And then my mum had a, another daughter with her husband and her name's Ria. Um, so she was born when I was 15. Um, and then my dad lived in Germany for 12 years and I've got another little sister. She's German. Her name's Mia. So I was the only Walker. child. Terry Walker's German. I yeah. know. Mm. Her name is Chantal Gushen 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 I love Terry. She's a queen. She's, she's one of my besties. She's the, one of the realest. Love like, yeah. Love the love realest. Girl, love As yeah. a lot of people in this industry that say they're real, they're not real. They're two-faced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is not. She's I real. love her to bits. She's real. Yeah. I love her. Yeah, she, when she came, her energy was lovely. Yeah, yeah. And she's yeah, fun, isn't she? Mm. She's a nut. Yeah, yeah. She's come and blew her nose But she's so charismatic as well. Like, if you see her perform, she's amazing on stage. I just love her so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love her. Yeah, yeah oh. so I was the only child for all them years because I, I didn't really count my brother so much because I didn't live with him. Yeah. Mm. So I was the only child for 15 years. And when I finally thought, oh, I'm not going to have any siblings, then my mum had my sister. And, and then I ended up with, yeah, like five. Yeah. I was being an only child. Was, that, was I you hate, spoiled? I hated it. Was you spoiled? I was spoiled with love. I wouldn't say my mum didn't have a lot of money obviously she brought me up by, my, by herself because my dad wasn't around mm. um, and my mum worked two jobs I'd spent a lot of time with childminders and stuff like that when my okay. mum was at work yeah. but definitely spot with love um, yeah different times then isn't it like kids nowadays get everything they want no, in it. Yeah, but um, <laughs> my mum... And my mum was old school, obviously, because she came from Jamaica when she was... She was very strict, man. Yeah. Mm. My mum was very, very strict. So how was you like in school? Um, I was I was like a, an A student until, <laughs> until about the third year. And then I think I just... I just was so just in entranced in, like, just doing music and stuff like that. And just more focused on creative pursuits as so opposed you, to academic. Is that you, when you discovered your voice? From the, no. From primary school, is that when you... No, I music? went dancing from the age of three. So <coughs> really? I, I, yeah, I did dancing and singing from the age of three. Um, my mum's... I was watching, like... I used to love musicals as a kid, and I was watching the Nicholas Brothers in a musical, and um, I was trying to tap dance, and then my mum sent me to dance school. And initially, I wanted to be a dancer, but when I was 12, I had an operation on my knee because mm-hmm. I've got... It turned out it was my feet. My feet are flat and they roll in. So it affected my knees. And because I was dancing, I was going like dancing four days a week or something like that. Because I was adamant I was going to be a dancer. Um, I decided to be a singer because I also enjoyed singing. But it was never anything that I wanted to do solely. I wanted to do like musicals and like sing and dance. And that's what I had, you know, envisaged <coughs> in my mind. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, okay, I'll be a singer. So then I started going to studio when I was 12. Mm. Oh, is it? Yeah, and it just started from there because I had the operation around that time. Yeah. So, in secondary school, how how did how did you develop? So I got into stage school, but I couldn't get a grant. So I got into a stage school called Italia Conti. Mm, I um, think I've heard of that. You know? Yeah, now they give grants out like water, but mm. back then I think they used to give out one grant a year or something like that, and I mm. couldn't get a grant. Mm. And my mum even kept me off school; like she protested, whatever they wouldn't they wouldn't give me a grant. Um, and so I basically turned my school into stage school. So I had a crew with all my friends. We were called, I think at that time we were called New Generation. We changed our name so many times. Mm. And I used to run drills like a sergeant. Like every playtime <laughs> we would like be singing. Because outside there used to be like shelters around. Um, so as you come out into the playground, there were like <coughs> bits that were covered over, but they had domes. So they had really good acoustics. Mm. So we would like sing underneath them. 
And um, yeah, we would sing, we would dance, we would enter all the competitions. And before we left that school, that's when we was at Langdon. Mm. Before we left that school, we put on a big dance extravaganza and they still have it to this day. Oh, really? But then now they've joined with all the other schools in Newham and they have it as like this one big thing. But we started that. But you started mm. that. Yeah. Well, I say we, but I mm. I oh, was boy. the driving force between like getting yeah. everyone together. Yeah. Me and my best yeah. friend Cammy at the time, because we were just like hardcore on the dancing and we just we formed like troops and like certain people came and certain people came out through throughout the years mm. but we yeah we always had a dance and singing troupe and we'd do all the shows all the yeah all the competitions anywhere we could perform we'd go perform do you go to a mixed school or just a I went, yeah school? i went to a mixed school you went to a mixed school didn't yeah. you did it was it was a man then feeling your like what do you mean mother's? feeling us what do you mean did, it, did you have was, was I a hot girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always been a hot girl. I don't know. What are you talking about? I don't know. Tell him, Kelly. I don't know. But you know, it's like funny. I don't know. If it, it, you, you, know, know I don't like, know. you know, some girl bloom late. You know, sometimes like, you look back some at pictures and you're late. like, I was a hot girl. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't look like when you look back now, but it was relative to the time. I was hot for the time. Okay, mm-hmm. so the yeah. man was on it. I've moved with the times. I've always been hot, babe. Simple. I've never not known hotness. Corner. Jeez. Corner. Corner. Yeah, so. I'd, so after school, leaving school, what was your what, what was your? Um... So when I left school, I went to um, I got into Evan Forest College and I did perform. I, I was in Evan. Did you? Yeah, did expelled. you perform an arts there? No, no, hell no, <laughs> hell no. But I got I got expelled after about five days. I think in Evan. Five days. Yeah. Do you know what they kind of expelled me too? Is it? What Do you want for? to know what I did? Go on. So I got voted head of um, what's it called? So what's it called when you what's it called when you go into the the student union. Okay. Yeah, so I got voted in to be head of student union. And I think at the time, my mum was in America, but they had a phone in there. So I used to call my mum all the time in America on the phone. And then one day, me and one of the other girls, we were bored and there were all these old flyers and we decided to light a fire in the metal bin. Oh my God. And the, all the smoke alarms went off and yeah. everyone had to be evacuated. And yeah, they they basically, they demoted me from being the student. I, I, I got voted in, like I had to do like a little speech and everything mm. and promote myself. Mm. I got demoted and then I did, so it was that and another thing, I did this, um, we had to do this big project and I, and it was a group of us and we all failed and then we had to do a piece by ourselves. And at that time I'd just been signed in Chicago to, to a record label, to Sony mm. in Chicago. So mm. I wasn't that bothered. I was like, I'm getting to America. So didn't I'm, didn't end up going in the end, but yeah. So they they chucked me out of college. Yeah. Yeah, I got chucked out too. Well, the main subject today is gonna be fashion. Okay. But like, what was your fashion like them time there? What did what was you rocking? Yeah. So my mum is a clothes designer. So I I I was wearing homemade clothes mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. from from a youth because my mum would make me clothes. Are we talking about the seventies? <laughs> we're talking about. I was born in seventy five. I so know, I'm going bad. Oh, yeah, man. I just I'm wear. Your eyes. I know, I know. <laughs> no, but when we talk, my mum talk about what 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 was you wearing in the eighties then? Like in school school times. I don't remember that. We had school uniform. After school. Like, all right, boom. All right, I'll tell you what. So, remember when Naf Naf was out? Yeah, so, yeah, Naf remember, Naf. I'm trying to work like, out the Kickers. Era. Okay. Uh, what, was Wallabies. It more, yeah, was yeah. it more rap inspired, soul yeah, it was, inspired, I would say, bashment inspired? I would say rap inspired. inspired. I went, I think bashment was more at college. Trends yeah. and all that. Yeah, so, I basically made, because uh, I couldn't afford a Naf Naf jacket. So, I... Me and my mum helped me make one, so I made a jacket and we put like we got the leather, we put the leather little bits yeah. on it, and then I made a little extra twist, so it had it had zips on the arms, so you could take the arms off and it would turn into yeah. a body woman because body mm. women were in back then, remember? Mm, mm, mm. So it would turn into a body woman, and then I made two because I tried to make it reversible, but I was over ambitious and it was too puffy. So then I had one purple jacket, and mm. then the other one was like black satin with like tan leather, mm. and the arms came off. Yeah, okay, so you look like you're still on your fashion yeah, team. Thank Can't you. see the boots, but she got some. You get me? She got some boot there. You yeah. get me? <laughs> yeah. Do you know? I'm gonna tell you a story, right? Mm. So when I was really young, like I said, I never got to see my dad that often. But my dad was a model. He used to travel the world. He was an international model. Mm. And one time he came home and he bought me these cowboy boots. I think he was in like. Texas or something and he bought me home some cowboy boots and my mum hated these cowboy boots yeah mm. and she wouldn't let me wear them anywhere like I used to beg her because obviously my dad yeah, never used to buy yeah, me many yeah. things so I was in love with them because my dad had bought them for me mm. and she wouldn't let me she wouldn't let me wear them and she would let me play out in them so you would see me out in these cowboy boots playing out on the street mm. I said that to my mum the other day because I was saying do you remember when I had them cowboy boots and you wouldn't let me wear them out she's like they were ugly mm. yeah that I've made a couple wrong chase shoes yeah. still 
remember one time I bought some Cavalis, some pointed Cavalis, but I thought they were hard, like, you know, like, some yard man. Two man laugh at you and that was it. What? <laughs> I must have bust it one time, but I think it was even when I was trying to grow my hair the first yeah. time. And we went out somewhere, you get me? Mm. I'm, I think I, I was just overdone it you know yeah, the fashion yeah, thing yeah, overdone yeah. it yeah. And so I can't remember what jacket I had on but some madness but I saw an old boom. carnival picture of I've me got, my sister and my mum I've got a bloody <laughs> pointed Cavalli shoes do you get what I'm saying and then we've gone to an after party but everyone's allowed me <laughs> they've allowed me the whole night you know I'm there I'm, we've got to the after party you get me and I, boom I think I, I don't know if I was smoking or whatever but fucking Stitcher and Otis he fucking mugs yeah <laughs> You get what I'm saying? They're like, yo, where you get them boot there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you had to be there. You get what I'm saying? You had to be there. He was like, huh? Crush your whole flex. What? I looked at my shoe. He's like, yo, where you get them boot there? I know you like, remember that as well. And I looked at them boot there. I said, no, nah, I never wore them again. Mm. Did you never wore them Cavalli. No, I'm still good. They're somewhere. I never wore them again, though. I bet you they're collector's items now. Probably. No, really. yeah. Get me, but yeah, boom. So after. um school and college how did you get into music and all that what led you to that so when i was 12 my mum's friend um he said oh I, i'm gonna take his studio so he started taking his studio mm. and the first song i ever recorded i always get this name wrong i don't think it i always say it's rose royce it's not them but you know the song that goes don't tell me tell her it's over it's over. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the first song oh, I ever yeah. recorded. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was back in the days where when, when you get it, it's on actual tape, like mm-hmm. on a cassette tape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and and after that, when I decided that I wanted to sing, I just went to every studio going. So I, I think that was played a huge... I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Prince fan as well, and he's quite diverse and an eclectic. But I think the fact that I just wanted to hone my craft so anyone that had a studio I would go so I I ended up singing very like so many different genres so many different like eclectic types of music just so I could have the opportunity to use their studios because it's not like now where everyone's got a studio Mm -hmm. back then not many people had studios so I'll be like you've got a studio can I come down can I use it can I sing you know and um yeah I just sung and sung and sung and sung and then how I got my break was that I um Actually, prior to that, my dad, he was really good friends with Mikey Craig from um, Culture Club. Mm. And Mikey Craig's younger brother, um, he basically, um, Giles, he basically had like a production company with a couple of his friends. Mm. And my dad was, oh, my daughter can sing. I'll bring her down. So I think I was 17 then, maybe 16. Mm -hmm. And um, I started working with them. And I think that's the first time I went to studio where I was working with someone that really understood where I was coming from musically, I was very inspired by Janet Jackson, Mary J. Blige, and that's the kind of um, artist I saw myself as at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and they got that. So they really honed my craft. Like I I, I owe them big time. I, I pay homage to them because they kind of really, they named me as well. They named me Kelly LaRock. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, digital, digital named me. Daddy Digital was a digital yeah, engineer. Them Even when I, um, <clears throat> when I researched you, like Kelly Biggs, yeah, that's my thought, that's my government name. Yeah. Tell everyone why I don't chill. Yeah, but I thought, yeah, but I thought <laughs> Kelly Biggs. Yeah. No, you say right. that. You say that's that now, right. but it was before Biggie Smalls. I thought Kelly Biggs. Mm. That's her. Right. No, it's a dope name. But, you know, like, but Lisa Mafia. That's like, her that's real name. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 Biggs yeah. gonna like work. Mr. Biggs. Yeah, yeah Biggs but gonna it, work. Do you but get don't me? forget, I was around before that time, babes. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how to ham. But. Yeah, no, because right now, yeah, Kelly Biggs could work, isn't it? Did your, um, Mrs. Biggs, you get me? Did your mum and dad, like, support you? Um, so my dad, obviously, being, or, like, a creative and being musical and, mm. like, being in that kind of world, yes, he did. Obviously, like I said, he wasn't around as much when mm. I was growing up, but... How do you feel about that? Um, um, I was upset about that. Mm. Yeah, it was horrid. Did you, um, like, did you talk to your mum about it? Yeah, do you know what I would say about my mum? And this is why I just have to big that woman up all the time. Mm. Like, you know when you see set, like you've all got friends that are that baby mother and they're like, yeah. your dad's a fucking cunt. Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. your dad? He yeah. didn't come back. Rah, rah, rah. Mm. My mum never did that about my dad. Mm-hmm. And like my dad would say he was coming, he wouldn't turn up. Mm. Or he'd come at like midnight and he'd have some model chick on his arm because he'd mm. just come, you know what I mean? And my mum mm-hmm. would be so gracious and just like, oh, your daddy's here. And, you know, yeah. and I've been there waiting all day yeah. for him. Yeah. I would never hear a bad mouth him. And like, I'd be like, where's my daddy? And she'd be like, oh, maybe he got caught up. Yeah. And I'd say, oh, my daddy doesn't love me. She'd be like, of course your daddy loves you. You know, like, oh. I never got making that. Making excuses for him. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But I guess she was making excuses for me. Like, yeah. as you, as when, you're old, when you're older now, you look back and you say, that was for me. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. And you know, there yeah. must have been times that she was so upset, but yeah. she didn't show you. Because she just didn't want you to I never even her. heard her cussing my dad's mouth dad, to her friends. your dad's early now, though, isn't it? Uh, After he saw you chart and all that, he started, you know what? started coming My dad early. is my dad. 
my dad is my dad. We're mm. in a really good place. And mm -hmm. I, I was talking to him earlier. I said I did life coaching. Mm. I had to do life coaching because my I was my dad was a huge part of my late human development. Because right. you know we've all we all suffer from childhood trauma. Like yeah, everybody did you feel like you had daddy issues. Definitely had yeah. daddy issues. And I didn't I I am um, when you do the, this particular life coaching course that I did, you realise that you develop strong suits in your life to counteract mm -hmm. things that have happened to you that yeah. have knocked you. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things that I did was that because I felt I wasn't loved by my dad, I went out of my way to be lovable. Mm -hmm. So then I would always be kind and nice to people. And people oh, please. Oh, yeah, people please, like, completely. Mm. And that's not healthy. No, do you know what I mean? No. Even though it's not a hor it didn't manifest as a horrible trait, yeah. it, it was it was detrimental to me and it, was, it wasn't it was helping me, you no. know? So, um, yeah. yeah, but me and my dad are good now. We're really good. Oh, you think that good played a major part in the reason why you, you chose not to have kids? Uh, I didn't choose not to have kids. I just wanted... A fairy tale, and it, the fairy tale hasn't That's happened That's what I mean. Yet. That's what I mean. Because mm. you're so stuck on the fairy tale. Um, I feel like yes, possibly because I Did I you... felt I came from a broken home, yeah. and I wanted to break the chain. Mm -hmm. And I see so many black kids coming from broken homes. I mean, to be honest, nowadays it's any kid. Mm -hmm. Like white people are getting divorced now, whereas before they you'd more see white people still together. It's like there are so many kids in broke coming from broken homes now mm. or in not necessarily broken homes, but homes where the parents aren't together. Mm. They That's may be not normal. They, exactly. They may be co parenting quite nicely amongst side each other, but yeah. that wasn't the case. I hardly ever saw my dad, you know? Mm. Yeah. And um yeah, it definitely affected me for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah, um getting back to um your story because mm -hmm. I was just cutting that's kicking. part that's still part of my story yeah yeah like, come, <laughs> on, come on the life coaching thing you were talking to me about it earlier really mm. and about how uh, yeah you, you think I need counselling and all that I yeah. said what did I say I said everybody needs counselling yeah. I didn't yeah, say yeah. you needed it yeah, I yeah, said but that, I'm, I'm part of everybody yeah 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 and the reason you said it was because you get what I'm saying mm. because of obviously what I was saying yeah yeah you get yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to say so yeah, yeah. and I was saying basically I didn't say I got a problem with sitting down and talking to a stranger yeah do you know what I mean yeah but yeah so um Getting back to the music, how did you, where did you, how did you bust, man? So, oh yeah, well, that's what we were talking about. All right, so, um, basically, so be Best Kept Secret were the first people that I kind of worked with that kind of got me. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we worked together for years before we released anything. And then I think when I was about 17, yeah. we released a track called Let Me Know. And at the time, Choice FM, which was still Choice FM, yeah, Choice FM they big. loved it and they just really pioneered it and they played it all the time. So then off the back of that, I think I charted, but it was something ridiculous, like 60 or something. But I, yeah, it was, but I got into the chart. How did you feel, mm. though? Loved it. I heard yeah. it on the radio. Mm -hmm. that that's when, back in the day. That, so. When Master Tips was at Choice? I don't think so. I think it was before that time. Oh, before I found Yeah. Know, but I knew Master Steps. Steps. I grew up with Master yeah. Steps as well, actually, mm. to be fair. Um, so, because um, he's from East, and it's from Bo. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went on tour. So I, I toured with, um, who was it? It was uh, One for the Money, Two for the Show. I know the name? tune. Uh, yeah. It's... You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so do I, but I caught the names. It's, it's uh, on the... Br Brown. Uh? Horace Brown. Horace Brown. Yeah, that's it. Ho Horace Brown. Horace Brown. Horace Brown, yeah. Yeah, so I went on tour with Horace Brown. I went on tour with Total. Um, yeah, I went on was big. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Puff Daddy was there as well all the time. Mm. Uh, and um, with Mona Lisa. So we did like a big UK tour mm. and that was amazing. And then off the back of that, I think at the time I had a boyfriend mm -hmm. and then he had a friend who was in a group called Four Man Do. I don't know if you remember that group. No. Sure. They didn't They didn't last long. But they were, of course not. What was it, R&B group or something? R&B pop. Mad okay, group. cool. Yeah, so it's four of them, but Four Man Do. The mad, group. Know, isn't it? mad group. But... Uh, he was signed to a company called um, called First Avenue and okay. they were looking to put together a girl group and he was like, ah, oh, my friend's girlfriend can sing. So I went and auditioned for them and they loved me. And then for years, they just, we flitted about because like, like I said, I probably met them when I was about 16. Mm. And um, then by the time I got signed to them, I was 19. Okay. Um, but then I got signed to them and then I got licensed to Polydor and then that's when I went to LA and recorded my album. I was out there for four and a half months, mm. recorded my album, which was great as well. So I was out there when I was 20. Was that when you worked with Coolio? Yeah. But you know what's so funny? He wasn't even there. So this was that, this was like, we was using state-of-the-art technology. Now it's all commonplace, but you know, like he mm. was in, 
he was somewhere else and I was in LA and okay. he recorded his vocals down, down the phone lines. Is it? But the, what the joke was, about two weeks before, I was walking down the road and I was walking the dog of one of the guys. Bradley had this dog and I was walking Bradley's dog and then this limo pulled up and Coolio goes, hey, pretty lady, do you want to walk me? <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me his card. Yeah. And um, Did he have all his plats? Yeah, yeah, he had this crazy plat. <laughs> but the thing was, the, his manager that was doing the session with us was his wife, yeah? Right. So I couldn't even say, I met you the other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know oh, what? Gosh. Do you remember the woman? Yeah, mm-hmm. but it was just, yeah, it was mm-hmm. funny. But I loved I loved it in LA. I mean, to I this, met Coolio, you know. No, he's cool. I, I met him over here. So I used to see him so all the time. He's had a baby. He's got a baby mother that lives out here, you know. I don't know, oh, but we, we, yeah, had a, yeah. we had a show. This is North Star Days. Mm. We had a show in some weird, some mad place, I think, Chil- Chilford or some some mad place in the middle of a forest type mm. of thing. And then we're there. Then he come there. He was performing there as well. I think he still gets booked for that like, Gangster Paradise too. Oh, how could you not? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Number, yeah. It was number one all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't yeah. mad at him. Mm. Mm. Like someone on, on Instagram the other day, Afro B was putting up that someone said something like, oh, yes, we're all bored of Joanna now. Afro B needs a new song. And I said to him, yo, I've been singing My Love for, what, 20 plus years? Yeah, exactly. you're still getting booked. You know I said, mean? Robin Nelson's yeah, been singing on. Show Me Love for, what, 30 plus years? I said, pray that you sing this song for as long as you can sing yeah. this song and it's tell the haters to go suck it. My Love is not it. dying. My you Love is not, that's what it is. My Love pays my bills. I am blessed and grateful. Did, 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 did you write that? Um, no, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Um, it was written by Bradley Sporter, Louise Francis, mm-hmm, and Robbie mm-hmm. Neville. Amazing. Um, sang it well. Such well, a, I re-vocaled yeah. the garage version. They can't not and the play R&B it in the version. Dance. They yeah. can't not so play it in the So I redid the vocal production on that, yeah. yeah. But they won't give me publishing on it, though, even okay. though they admit it's a completely different they song. Will. No, they won't. But it's all right, babe. It's a classic, it's right, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what, as well, when you perform it, you sound... Just like, thank the, um, you. do you know what I mean? Like, no studio voice. Oh, you know? thank yeah. you. Do you know what it is? I just, I love performing. Yeah. And, and like you I say, see. I'm genuinely so gassed that I still get to sing this song. And yeah. people go, oh, you sang it, sang it. Do you get bored of it? I'm like, never, mm. never. Mm. Like, sometimes my sister says, you and your one song. Yeah. Like, I've got I one love song. it, I love yeah. it. I, yeah, even, you like, know I even it. switch it up sometimes. Oh, yeah. I saw your... Um, was it the carnival rampage? Oh, I did a little mashup, the little, and then you yeah, yeah. a little mash. Yeah, yeah. I need yeah. a new mashup to be no, fair. But I, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no. So after after you got that, you signed with Polydor and all that. Mm, I went off to LA, recorded the mm. album. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you some of the highlights of when I lived in LA. Yes, of course. So one day I am at the bus at the bus stop at the um at the lights, at like at the red lights, at the traffic lights, mm-hmm. and I turned to the right and I just saw that he'd just been released from prison, like on TV. Who? Rick James, bitch. Who's Rick James again? You don't know who Rick James is? Love that, man. Who's that again? You don't know who Rick James is? <laughs> 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 She's a super freak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Rick <laughs> James. Yeah, but, yeah, I know, but you're forgetting. You're forgetting. You're a bit older than me, isn't you? <laughs> no, but have you ever seen those sticks I know who you're Charlie talking Murphy about now. I know who you're talking about now, Chappelle. but I would definitely... Mm. I know who you're talking about now, but I weren't going to straight away know yet. You know what I'm do saying? Do you remember Dave Chappelle used to always do like little skits with him? I know who you're talking about. Rick James. Mm. Yeah, he was at the lights, and I was like, Rick James! And he and we, he had he had like hose in his car and everything. Yeah. Like mm. he was just like the caricature Pimping. of him. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's like that though. It's it like is. everywhere you go. Because even when I went with my friends, it was like, oh my gosh! Like everywhere <laughs> you go, you just see somebody. You else, do. You know what I mean? You do. I everywhere. I met. Yeah. I smoked a Philly blunt with Missy Elliott. Did you? Mm. Yeah, Missy Elliott and Bone Thugs and Harmony. Wow. Oh my days! Yeah. <laughs> Bone Thugs <Bone Fox, laughs> is on the um, current affairs today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. 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 But you know, it's so funny. I think this is the first time I'd ever had chronic. So. Before that, obviously, I smoked weed, chronic. innit? Chronic. Yeah, yeah. That's like an 80s word for it. I smoked weed. But I think it was called chronic then. Because <laughs> yeah. no, it I'm was joking. actually called chronic. I'm yeah. joking. Uh, so I, I you know that like chronic. <laughs> it, was, it was called chronic. chronic though. Yeah, or that's like yeah, no, that. Yeah, come on, I know. Like, it was called it was before, like, know, like lemon from Dr. tree and, and all, all them things. Dr. It's, Dr. Jay and all that chronic 2000. Chronic 2000. So, because I I was a big weed fan. Mine's just going to find some chronic. I thought that. I could handle it. So Matt, he, he rolled it in a Philly blunt. Mm. I had three pulls. I choked. Yeah. And I, but, I, but I was a big smoker, so I didn't think anything of it. Then I swear down, I was like, someone has spiked my drink. Mm. I was like, someone has spiked my drink. Someone has spiked my drink. And then, you know, like when you get prang, and then you just start thinking the worst. They're going to rape me. Mm. They're going to kill me. Oh my and they're going to kidnap me. And so I'm there like, because I was, I was passing it to and through with, with Missy Elliott. We're having a whole conversation. We're out mm. by the pool. Um, and then I said, oh, I'm going to go to my room. I went up to my room. I was fucking buzzing out and I was freaking out. I ended up having to run a bath, have a bath. Then I came back downstairs and everyone was gone. Because oh, no. in my world, yeah. I probably thought I was 40 minutes. I probably was about three hours. Mm. I was 
yeah, yeah, and you, had, you had a whitey. Then yeah. I realised for sure, one hundred. No, big got yeah. big up that person. There was one person that commented on the Alan show in the comments. I can't remember what your name, but he was like, "Spray was fucked." He pulled the whitey. He's the only one that clocked. Mm-hmm. When I was doing an interview with Alan, yeah, I never even g'd up myself yet. <laughs> but I pulled a big whitey, big up Stone Island. <laughs> that weed there was no, mad. The for about it was so twenty nice. minutes, I didn't know what Cream and Alan was talking about. <laughs> Don't get me all, I had, all I had to take off my jumper, I was sweating. Go and check that out if you want to yeah. see Look, me have a whitey. See, it's not nice. That's not a nice feeling. It though. was mental. No, but imagine I'm here sitting there thinking, ah, oh, mate. I was thinking, what am I gonna do? Remember, I was all. I started the show all lively. The mm. champs pop down. I popped down still, so yeah, yeah, that chronic there was loud, you get me? Yeah, it's scary. But yeah, what what other good... So Hype thing? Williams was staying at my hotel, mm-hmm. so I... Um, I know my Hype Williams. Yeah, he's lovely, mm-hmm. and um, he um, he invited me to a shoot that he was doing with Buster Rhymes mm-hmm. and Spliff Star, mm-hmm. um, and that was... Um, what was the one What was the one that they did? This is... Dangerous. Mm. So I was at that photo shoot. Mm-hmm. That was in Orange County. Yeah, he was big. He was like one of the first to do those type of videos. Yeah, shoots, yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Hype Williams. Like, yeah, with the, was, with the with yeah, the yeah. the the fisheye mm-hmm, mm-hmm, lens. Mm-hmm, yeah, who else mm-hmm. done me? I met so many people out there. Really? But I had I just had the wickedest time. The wickedest time in LA. Yeah, the wickedest time. Oh, I met Mr. Dalvin. Did you, Did you know Mr. Dalvin? No. Joe Come on. Oh, man, Dalvin. Yeah, Dalvin. But he was my favourite. I used to eat that one. Ain't he the Edith one, though? Ain't Dalvin the Edith one that no one knows? No. No. There's Jojo. He did the least. I'm not going to say he didn't do Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's him then. Dalvin. Ain't he the one that went out with T-Buzz? Yeah, but she just said he did the least. That's what I know what you're talking about. In the set, because his brother was a producer and his brother was the light skinned one with the, with the light. I know eyes. you're talking about. I know you're talking about. And then there was Casey and Jojo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know about Casey and Jojo. Mr. Dalvin was the chocolate one. Mr. Dalvin's the hot one. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I met Mr. Dalvin. I used to see him all the time. He used to love Mr. Dalvin. Oh, my God. Jodeci were the, the ones. Uh, yeah. The yeah, they ones. Were big, yeah. They were big. Yeah. That's when people sung properly. People don't um, sing properly anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all mad now, isn't it? It's all, yeah. all, all too I'm not saying people can't sing, because they can, but that's, that's when they could sing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That 90s. Yeah, Ricardo Williams, he sings like that. That's why I love him. I don't know. You need to Google him. Okay. I know about Lamar. Lamar's an amazing singer. Lamar's, an Lamar's amazing from singer. Best Kept Secret. That's from my. That's Lamar's from Tottenham. But Lamar's from my like. <laughs> see, when I said Best Kept Secret, groomy. Mm. That's where Lamar comes from too. Mm. So we we've got a tune together. It's called Number One. Yeah, he's got an amazing voice. Yeah, he does. I saw him the other day actually. We was at an event together. Him and Terry. You got Lamar. Mr. Brown, big up Terry Brown. Yeah, you yeah. got Terry Brown, don't know you, but. That's his manager, okay. but that's part of Best Kept Secret. Simple. Yeah, it was Terry Giles Digital. So how Darren. did how did that album do in the end? Um, so, my first album, I think we sold, I'm going to be like, I don't know how much we sold, but I definitely recouped, I know that for a fact, Mm-mm-mm. but then it all went tits up. So, the third single they were going to do, so whenever I used to do my shows, I had a live band and there was a song that I really loved by the LA Boppers called You Did It Good. Mm-hmm. So then they made me record it for the album, so we did like a special edition and we recorded it for the album and they wanted it to be the third single on my label. Mm-hmm. So I think the first single was number eight, second single, number eight. But we sold like, I think it was like 180,000. Go on. Yeah. But back then it was proper. Yeah, it wasn't on. strings, yeah, it? Yeah. Um, and then, but then when that album came out, they, I don't know if you've ever seen my album cover. It's me, but I've got black grease paint on and my hair's all slicked back. So mm-hmm. you don't recognise that it's, yeah, it's me. it's coming right? up right now. Yeah. Oh, is it? There we go. So, um, <laughs> so uh, I, and I even said to them, I said, no one's going to know it's me because at the time I was on every TV show going. I was on like Des O'Connor, like all, all any, any entertainment show, you name it, I was on it. Yeah, you know? big, yeah. big man. But as me. Yeah. So these posts, these big billboards that were everywhere with me looking like Alex Weck. Everyone was like, who's that on your album cover? Mm-hmm. Um, no one recognised it was me. So then the first week of release, I think we sold 8,000. How do you go from 180,000 to 8,000? There's a problem there with the marketing, right? Yeah. Mm. So then I was supposed to also go on tour with um, All Saints at the time. So they took me off the tour. What? And then the song that... Um, was supposed to be the first single was this cover version of LA Boppers. So obviously prior to that, my was that after my love. Like, so my love was the second track. A little bit of love. Where did the first? first track. One, where did the first one um, chart? So, so it was a number. They both charted at eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. different app, different. Um, yeah, I think, different time. Yeah, no, I think. I think a little bit of loving was one hundred and twenty thousand, and my love was one hundred and eighty thousand. I think something like that. Okay. Yeah. My love. I've got the, the stats that's somewhere. That's my biggest track. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, but that was the pop R and B version, yeah, not the garage version. Oh uh, yeah, the garage yeah. version is my version. So. Yeah. But do you know how that came about? Because I just Can loved I really garage. Release it? 
Huh? Do you want to re-release it? I did do, I did a reversion. I did a new version of it. No, but a better one with me on it or something. No. Same, same to you. <laughs> same to you. <laughs> do you know what? My love, <clears throat> I've realised, like, because even, to be fair, me doing garage, it has to be a certain type of garage because yeah. I cannot compete with my love. Because my love isn't Never. just... It's not just a song, babe. Yeah. That is like someone's first love. Yeah. That is someone's first holiday. That is someone's... So tell us about, yeah, the create... How, yeah. how it come about? Was it about someone? How was... Well, no, the original... She did Yeah, no, the original oh. was a pop R&B version, but I used to go twice as nice on a Sunday right. and I got really got into Garage. Yeah. And I wanted to hear my song in the club. That's where it came from. I was like, I need to hear my song in this club. Yeah, I yeah. love this music. I yeah. love this crowd. Like, this is my vibe. Yeah. So I begged my label to do a Garage remix. And obviously, because Garage was getting a That's bit of a name a and whatever, idea, they allowed me to do it. Luckily. And mm. um, I remember I flew in from Napa. Mm. Uh, I did it with Tim Below. So it was like Tim and Omar. And um, we were just having fun. I mm. smoked them as well, buzzing. Mm-hmm. We, just, we were just having fun. And we never thought, like... 20 odd years later, it would still be such an anthem. Did you used to rave Jungle? I did, actually, for a little while. Mm. I did, just prior to Garage. Mm. But then I think when Garage happened, that was me. That was, yeah, that, my heart was in that. You moved on quick. It took I me a little was, long I was to, in Jungle for a bit. It took nah. me a little long to move from Jungle, you know. I weren't rating Garage for a bit. Nah, I, I liked Jungle, but Garage was happier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, li- I liked the happiness of it until it got spoiled by the crack smokers. But yeah. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that you have got that thing in your music, though. It's very feel-good. You've got a feel-good sound about your, your music, thank definitely. You. When you're performing, you look like you're really enjoying it. So that's, yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So um, so how did you find, like, the industry? Because you're coming from... Old school. Yes. Yeah. So is there anything, like, you can tell us, like, you know? Um, I feel like... I mean, it's all changed so much now. Mm. Like, people ask me for advice. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm mm. a newbie in this because it's so much has changed. Mm. And obviously, with the kind of the whole internet thing and everything being digitalised now and, yeah. and all that, it's it's just changed the game. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's yeah. even changed the game in regards to even being with a label because of what they want from you now, like these 360 deals and all that malarkey, or mm. do you just do it yourself? Like, yeah. you know, yeah. so it's all a it's all a new enigma for me, to be fair. But um, back then, I would say the benefits of being with a label were that something that would probably take me a year to achieve, they can pick up the phone and just make a phone call. Yeah. I mean, even with like getting Coolio on the track, mm. it was a phone call. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. There was yeah. only a few of you back then that were signed. Like, it's not like now where a lot of people get signed. Yeah. I remember it's like you... Glamour. And we were signed for proper money as remember well. Remember Glamour mm. Kid? Nowadays, people don't get signed for proper money anymore. Remember Glamour Kid? Of course I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. a Glamour Kid. You know what yeah. I mean? Only a couple of people that I remember properly signed. Mm. I remember remember when that ice, Iceberg Slim got yeah. a deal. <laughs> Whatever happened to I my saw man? his mum the other day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wonder yeah, what happened to him. But I remember he was very team. talented. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Iceberg Slim guy, you know, mm-hmm. he was like the first still to get... a. No, I just remembered to get a proper deal and all that. But you know what it is? I feel like, and definitely in my in my experience, what they would do would that they would see people that were doing well by themselves. Mm-hmm. So they didn't have to do the footwork. They didn't have to do. They didn't have to like develop them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they would take them on, but then they wouldn't know what to do with them. Mm-hmm. And you see that happen time and time, time again. again. Yeah. You know, even now. I was about to say it still happens. Yeah, even now, because like, yeah, because they happening. take you on, and then they don't want you to be you. They yeah. want you to be the version of you that they think you should be. And then people know you're not being real because you're an artist. Yeah. You're not like a pop star. They didn't audition you in a you know like a do a worldwide audition and then and then they can mold you into what the they envisage for you no you've been doing this you're an artist you're a creative you know and um that was definitely a big thing i had with my label where they were just i remember once i came like to i can't remember to a performance or something and i changed my hairstyle and it was a, it was a drama a, big deal. a really? drama mm. um and when i did my album launch it was at the criterion in leicester square mm. and then like i said my mum's made me homemade clothes since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I started making my own clothes at 12. I designed shit, I make them. And I designed mm. this, it was... <laughs> it, it, when I look back now, like, in fairness, it probably was a bit out there. Too but mad it, for them. But it was a true expression of myself. So it was like crocodile, like crocodile print leather. Them boot then. And it was green, not these boot then. It was them boot no, And it, and it, it was, was them green. Then, yeah. So they were like green leather crocodile print pants. And then they had like strappy strap all down the side and then mm-hmm. the top had strappy strap here and strappy strap at the back too much fashion and then and, and, and a, like a green jacket nowadays people would die mm. for that i was mm. gonna say nowadays they like when you got your when my mum did boots style. so i sold it and these gay guys went <clears> mad <throat> they were like oh my god oh my god yeah because it's because it's you know it's um 
yeah, it's a bit out there, but it was mm. fashionable. And I mm. designed it myself and had it made. And they were like, you are not wearing that. And I was like, I am. Mm. <laughs> and then in the end, we compromised and I changed halfway through the show. And, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I always felt like they made me dress like an old lady. Because mm. at the, that time, I was like 21. Do you know yeah. what I mean? They, Terry did it like I did. Though. Yeah, they made me dress like I was much older than I was. But again, I think I was around before it was trendy to be trendy. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I was around before white girls wore skinny jeans. Yeah. That, like, nowadays, white girls wear skinny jeans like a, and a not an, mm. Only black people of yeah. Jamaican descent wore skinny jeans. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was yeah. like a... So it was before people were they, they on got trend. Line, it? Yeah. Well, no, it's not even that. I just think that they were just... It was a, at, at one point, black people just like black people and white people just, just like, like white people. people. And now everybody kind of dresses the same, same. which is mm. quite fashionable and yeah. speaks the same and acts the same. If you're from inner city London... Doesn't matter what colour you are. You don't even mm. have to have black friends. Try, trust me, they sound yeah, black, like, look black, dress black. Do you black know what girls, I mean? Black girls, bloody... Black girls, like, want to be like white girls and white girls want to be like black girls, if you ask me. You think so? Uh, I just certain things, in it, Like, because the black girl, I mean, the white girls get their lips done and all that. So obviously yeah. they're trying to have bigger lips mm. like black girls. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Then you've got the black girls, they straighten their hair or whatever. Yeah. That's like white girls' hair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like, just little things in it, but yeah, yeah, you make a you make a valid point. And I and I was um, having a conversation with somebody about you know people saying that white people are black fishing, and I was like, but you know, as black girls, we wear wigs, you mm-hmm. know, we wear weaves. Yeah, yeah, it goes I mean, both ways. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it personally, but I get when it's really appropriated. Like, actually, I don't even have a problem with white girls having cane rows. I really don't care. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I really don't care. I think I think though when someone is outwardly stealing black culture mm. and not acknowledging that they're stealing black culture and not giving that black culture its the props, mm. then that's mm. a problem. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I just think just dress how you want, do whatever you want. It's two thousand twenty one. You gotta live your life, man. Do you know what I mean? If you're not bloody act like a black girl, you know what I'm saying? But I am not really I'm not one for all that surgery stuff though, but well, I'm, bloke, I'm all know. natural, but I wouldn't say I would never have, you know, I wouldn't have anything to Are you natural, yeah? Is yeah. that real tits? Of course my tits are real. I don't know. <laughs> That's a question, but yeah. yeah. I don't know, they're just they're a bit out there, isn't it? They're yeah. not a bit out there, they're tits. That's what tits do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're tits, isn't it? Yeah, they're just on, on. how they look. <laughs> Does he ask all the female guests about their tits? We don't have no female guests. Yeah, Kawhi ain't got tits. Like, Oh, you're oh so rude! No, I'm, I'm going because it's my cousin. I always just go to Coel with it because yeah, I know you cousin. Do. You know the ones that I just know I could chat to her in it. Like, yeah, Coel, like, yeah. That's my G, man. Yeah, <laughs> um, she's coming back. She's coming Is she? back. Yeah, oh, she's good. coming back. She's in. Um, Tell her that you said she had no tits. Okay? She's in. Punch she's in longer. Africa. No, she don't want tits. She's in, <laughs> she's in Africa. Yeah, she's gonna rate that. I'm saying that. You get me? Right, she's gonna babe, rate. Right. She ain't got tits. You get me? But boom, she's in Africa. She's coming back. Whereabouts in Africa? Yeah, in Kenya. Oh, I lovely. Think. Oh, for real. Yeah. I've been in Kenya. I went out there to help out at an orphanage. Have you? Yeah, it's nice there. It's lovely. It's Where, where's your favourite place you travelled to? Mm. I would say one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been um, was Seychelles. Seychelles? Yeah, yeah. it's gorgeous there. You've travelled for real. I have. I've been really blessed. And I wish at the beginning of this journey that I had a world map and I put pins on it. Yeah. Because mm. I've been yeah. to some, like, especially even in England, I've been to some mad places that you would never even have heard of. Mm. Um, but I didn't. But I've also been to Kazakhstan twice. I've been to Kazakhstan. So. I, ha, ha, ha. I really? thought it wasn't a real place, yeah, you know. Yeah. No, but I thought no one goes there. When my agent said, you've got a gig in Kazakhstan, I said, it's a joke. I said, it's not a real place. Where now, Lisa is, got booked there. Lisa yeah, got booked there. Um, where is it? It's next to Russia. Okay. Yes, but you know, like, when you watch Borat, on That's there, people, yeah, yeah. people look like gypsies. Mm. They don't look like that there because it's kind of in between Russia they look like and Mongolians, China. Mongolians, man. Yeah, because it's in between Russia and China, mm. so they look kind of Chinesey, mm. and they're very rich because they've got yeah, gold, yeah, yeah. not gold, sorry, oil. But, um, so I went for Kazakhstan Fashion Week. That's what, it, what, that's what she got booked for. Yeah, I got booked for that, and then I went back and I did something for MTV out there. They had an expo thing, mm. and I went out there and did a. They got some there. nice duck over there. Best duck I've ever had. They, they're very rich so the the story that he painted I can see why it pissed them off but actually until I'd seen Borat I didn't even know Kazakhstan even existed so he did put them mm. on the map mm. yeah. that, 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 that was mad because I remember me and Wes went first before China Lisa and China Oh no, yeah, me was a seat. I me saw Wes the other day first. actually at Gig's birthday party. <coughs> He's got a grey beard now. Yeah, of course he does. Of course, and of course you saw him at Gig's birthday party. Yeah. But boom, we went early, we went too early, innit? So we ended up 
at the airport in Moscow for like 24 hours. Oh my god. <laughs> waiting for them not to come. But yeah, that was that was a funny little holiday. But yeah. Yeah, but you've been Kazakhstan. Yeah, not many people ca- can say they've been there. Yeah, mm. we be, yeah, yeah. Me and Wes had um, some mad memories there still. <laughs> we done our madness. But he got Wes though. <laughs> you get me? But yeah, flipping. Where we at with your story? How did we get but when so I know you you won two mobiles. You won two mobiles. I did. Was that with the first album or So that was in nineteen ninety nine I won those. Mm. So I won I think at that point I I think I'd left my label at that point. Really? Yeah. Had I left them then? I think I had. Why did you mm. leave? So um as I was saying, that so, so I sold 8,000 um, units in the mm-hmm. first week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they took me off the tour. And then um, I basically... Is that weird? I'm buzzing. <laughs> I can't remember what I'm saying now. Yeah, the numbers of the of what you've done. So what they went, they was low. Yeah. Oh, yes. And someone at Radio 1 didn't like my new song. Okay. And so they didn't playlist it. Mm. And, then, and then that was it. Mm-hmm. So... Basically, I was obviously signed to First Avenue, but I was licensed to Wildcard at, at Universal, mm-hmm. um, which was Polydor at the time. And they basically, um, yeah, they, yeah, they just we just parted ways. I think I think at the time the main guy at my at my record label, and then the main guy at that record label, which was Lucy and Grange at the time, they got into it and had an argument, and we just ended up leaving. I wasn't really? even there. I wasn't even there. <laughs> We're like, we've left them now. I was like, okay. Yeah, so you but, didn't care. You wasn't. Yeah, wasn't but like then the upset. thing that upset me was then I was still at First Avenue right. for like three years, and they wouldn't let me leave, and I, okay. I wanted to leave them as yeah, well, yeah. and they were also my management, so. Right. Yeah, it, it got on top. And um, for three years, they wouldn't let me leave. Mm. Yeah, that was a dark time. All right, so the mobiles, though. So, yeah, so I won a mobo for Best Newcomer mm. and Best Single. Was that, that's what I'm saying. When did that come? Like no, so. Yeah, but I'm saying after the first album or for the first, but did you get the Yeah, it's the first oh, album. Oh, for yeah, My yeah, Love yeah, and yeah, All That. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first album, yeah. So Best Newcomer. And, and um, best single. One, yeah. my love. On. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So so. But you know what? I don't know if you saw my Insta the other day. So I had a fire at my house, innit? So mm. um, I've been like unpacking everything slowly, and I unpacked my walls the other day, and both my mobos have snapped. They didn't. Oh. They didn't pack them properly. I was so upset, and they snapped. Yeah, but they said they might be able to replace them. Mobo said so. Yeah, can't yeah, you just they... get gorilla glue. Possibly, possibly oh, the epoxy ones. Let them get, give you some. Yeah, like, but yeah, those are like nice. they're from nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, they're you want the, yeah, you want the original. Yeah, yeah. but I will. Yeah, I'll see. It. I'll see if they can get me some new ones. But yeah, oh. but yeah, I've got five awards. I would like two Grammys, which is what I'm working towards at the moment. Yeah, speaking oh, don't you? Yeah, go on. Yeah, because so I just finished a new album. Did mm. you? Yeah, so it's a fully live album. So it's like live strings, yeah. live horns, live full live band, um, and um, yeah, just finished that. What's the vibe on that? Mm. Uh, so it's called La Rock Music Volume One, mm. and it's called Pops Electro, which is pop soul retro. So I just mm. wanted to do an album that was just for grown ups. Mm-hmm. Like so, it's got a real nostalgic feel. Like you hear one of the songs and you think, "I know this song," yeah. but you don't. It's because yeah. it just sounds like you know it because yeah. it's got yeah. that that way about it. It's homely. It's it's familiar. You know mm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and also it pays homage homage to some of my favourite artists. So it pays homage to like Amy Winehouse. There's a song in there that, that's inspired of my her. G- mm-hmm. um, there's a song in there that's inspired of Janet Jackson. There's a mm. song in there inspired of Prince, because I'm a huge Prince fan. Like he's my number one. Yeah, what about sisters? She used to love Prince. Right? I love Prince. Love I've got a room in my not, house. Not that sister though. It's um it's called the Prince Rogers Nelson Suite. Really? Yeah. It's oh. all when he died, I had it all decorated in purple and black. Yeah, that, yeah. Me and, yeah. But obviously me and Vicky, we used to read like Bobby Brown, innit? But, yeah. but I love Bobby Brown as Prince, well. Prince, Prince, but Prince, Prince is, is like my a number weirdo. one everything. He's my Prince number is one like everything. He's a weirdo, man. He's not a weirdo. He's like, a genius. He's a weirdo. When come back, he changed his name to some sign. Yeah, because he was being in Slave Way's record label and he wasn't yeah, having yeah. it. Mad weird you, but... He's not a mad got, weird you. got Prince, though. R.I.P. He's it was just a magical being. Yeah. Mm. Like... Any Prince fan will understand what I'm saying, man. That yeah, man no, was next level. And I did love sisters. Michael Jackson, but what I will say is, you see, like, you get really good Michael Jackson impersonators. Yeah, yeah. You can't get good Prince impersonators because mm. he was so multifaceted mm. and he had, like... If, some, if, you said to, if I said to you... So you what don't kind think of, Michael Jackson was a kiddie fiddler? Possibly. And you still like him? I mean, at that time, I liked him. 
Okay. So it was no competition. Do you I still work. listen to R. Kelly tunes now? No, I don't. That's something I just I don't. Like. And Honey Love used to be one of my favourite songs. And now yeah, I listen... has got some big tunes. I listen to it with different ears now. That's like creep. Mm-hmm. It's like pedo oh, music. Yeah, that's me. Pedo music. Okay. I don't listen to it. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, any, like Prince, like no one can impersonate him mm. fully because he's got so many different... Sides, yeah. sides of him mm. and then he's got so many different styles of music mm-hmm. like he did jazz he did funk he did house he did R&B he did rock yeah. he did indie yeah. when he did um, the Parade album which is a soundtrack to Under the Cherry Moon he did like French Riviere music like that man was just <laughs> Riviere hey, no I'm going to play you a song it's a song called Do You Like and it's like what's her name in our Riviere is it yeah. Ah, yeah well yeah he um he just did a song it's like a it's just, it's just dope. Like, yeah. there's no, I, I never got to meet him, and I'm just so heartbroken, oh. so heartbroken. But I did see him when he, you know, when he came here and he did the twenty dates, mm. and for some of the shows he did the after thing in the Indigo because mm-hmm. I had, I had a golden ticket. I was like in the top ten rows, um, yes. and then at the Indigo, I was literally leaning on the stage, and he was performing, and he kept staring at me. And there was one minute I was clapping, and he came and clapped with me. And you know, like when you, mm. I've loved him since I was a kid. Of course you have. I always used to be like, I wonder what Prince is doing right now. And I was like, right now, me and Prince are looking into each other's eyes. Like Prince can see me, and I can see him. Like I can see Prince. And um, and then he, like he's got his own little plectrums with his little symbol on him. Mm-hmm. So he's playing the guitar, and then he drops it right in front of me. So then I pick it up, and I lick it, and I stick it in my oh bra. My so I've tasted Prince's finger sweat. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah <laughs> he's forever part of me now. But um, that's the closest I ever got to him. Unfortunately, I was I was like saying, "Please call me on stage, please call me on stage." Mm-hmm. But he knew I loved him. I I yeah. could sense the vibe. You see, he got the vibe. Yeah, I could sense the vibe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So after the mobiles and all that, what that. It's all Daniel from there, babe. It's all fucking that. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> fucking. Well, but it's still, it's still a hill, though. No, but you see as <laughs> well, and I'm sure lots yeah, of artists still a hill, you know say, Yeah, lots of artists. Like, know, so. when you're not with a major label anymore, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. when you don't have that back of behind you anymore, you just see how people handle you. Do you mm-hmm, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They go from licking your ass and kissing your feet to, like, not even considering you. Yeah, but yeah. You're, you're still the same person. You've still got the same talent. You've still got the same heart. I remember when they used to lick your ass and all that. Do you get know what I'm saying? And yeah. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Go. Remember them times you used to think I was cute but evil? <laughs> Remember? Yeah, it's so cute. Babes, I still it's think so that. cute, but it's so cute. It's so cute, but I think you're evil. But like, yeah. I would evil say that he's like a vampire. Me? Evil, Ed. <laughs> but um, evil, Ed, but he used to come and try cougar, man. You get but me? did I? No, I didn't. Don't even try it. Did I ever put it on you? <laughs> No, you just told me I'm cute. <laughs> yeah, so what's that mean? When when you tell a man he's cute or you smile at a man, he's like, yeah, she's on man, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just yeah, he's saying. On it. He's on it, I'm just <laughs> speaking facts, isn't it? I'm yeah, just yeah, telling yeah. you. But yeah. I just didn't meet them. You get me? But if I did, you get me? No I babes. Would. No babes. I would. No babes. You pat and you, you get me? No babes. I no. can't be patted. No, you, you, you're too old for me. <laughs> there we go. No, I'm joking. I can't be patted. I'm joking. Mm. No, but so what was the downhill like? How did yeah. that feel? Um. Well, so basically... Uh, I couldn't obviously leave my label. They wouldn't let me leave for three years. Mm-hmm. So like, even though we left, like I said, Polydor, um, and a lot of people think I was dropped, I, w- I wasn't dropped from First Avenue. So I was there trying to leave for three years, which was horrid. Mm. So I was depressed. Um, How, was they letting you release music? No. Nope. Like, did you feel like they just benched you for a long they time? They just put me on the shelf. Yeah. They weren't letting me do writing sessions. They weren't mm-hmm. letting me do anything. Babe, you need to allow that. I'm how buzzing. Was, how, was your mental <laughs> health? how was your mental health? Bad. At that time? <laughs> yes, bad. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, and um, I, I started, I think that was, and this is why I don't smoke weed anymore, actually, because then I started to have really bad anxiety and really bad really? panic attacks. Yeah. Yeah, you had, to, you had to give up the credit. I had to give it up, babes, because the, the panic attacks got out of hand. I still have them now, actually, but um, because I know what they are, I, I deal with them a lot better. But yeah, I had severe, I wouldn't say severe depression, mm-hmm. but I was very depressed. And the, the funny thing is, I think I didn't even know I was depressed till I wasn't. Right. Till I came out the other side yeah, oh, and I was oh, like, mm-hmm. oh, I was depressed. Mm-hmm. How know, did like, you come out of it? So do you think like it stopped when they released you or how did you come to an end with them anyway? Well, I'd, I fought for many years and in the end they just let me go. But yeah. In that interim as well, I did tracks with other people, but it was stuff that I negotiated myself. Yeah. And then they'd get wind of it and then they'd jump on it. And I'm like, yeah. but you didn't do any, you know, but yeah. obviously contractually, I was still signed to them. And then uh, as I was just about to leave, they found out I was doing the track with Basement Jacks, Romeo. Mm-hmm. So again, they jumped on that. And I was just like, 
nothing to do with you. So I think to this day they take 40%, mm. you know what I mean, um, of my earnings on that track. Uh, and then, yeah, I got to leave. I got to leave. But... Um, Lucky for you, you had my love because you've been getting booked for that the whole way through. Yeah, but then there was still a little hiatus before, like, because obviously I've always done Garage, mm. but there was still a little hiatus um, before that came back on the scene. Oh, you know is what it? I mean? So you had because, a, you had a, you had Because I was obviously doing more pop R&B events, like mm. more commercial events, because mm-hmm. I'd I'd been in the top 10, I'd been yeah, in the yeah, charts, yeah. I'd been all, all over TV, do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was more doing that, and then I did, I think I did a MOBO tour for a little while, um, which was really good. So I was doing the R&B version of My Love because mm. I, I re-vocaled the R&B version that I did with Ignorance. Mm. I re-vocaled the garage version. I re-vocaled the house version. So I re-vocaled all my versions. There's mm. there's, there's a couple of remixes that have the original vocal, but like Prince is my biggest inspiration. Mm-hmm. And if he did a remix, he would re-vocal it. So that was me. I'd just go and re-vocal it and just do a whole new vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ashanti's in the process of doing that. Is she? Yeah, she's going to re-vocal like her stuff because oh. she done it with um, I've got it before oh. but yeah. then in that way she owns the masters yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So it's been uh, 20 years now so she said that she's able to yes exactly like exactly that, that. so I did I mean, do that with my love and I yeah. redid it again with Ice Cream Records who did I did the original with. Ice Cream Records oh, but, but I still love the original like because yeah. the, that their version they auto-tuned me and they auto-tuned me so much that I sound out of tune on some parts of it mm. and I just don't love it I just still love the original with my, I, I remember, like I said, I'd, with my little raspy weed smoking yeah, voice, just yeah, come off the plane yeah. from Napa Voices, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we were just vibes in. That's the same thing Irv was saying about Ashani. She mm. might re- re-record it, but it ain't going to have that same vibe, in no, it? No, it's not. Do you get what I'm saying? I agree, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. Just, that's just how it Like, goes. you don't even always, as you know, as an artist, mm. like, sometimes when you're on a vibe and you record something, yeah. and it might not be pitch perfect, and it's it like a little imperfections, yeah. but it's yeah. sometimes so you might even have a different vibe. The vibe is not vibe. You don't even want to Yeah, sometimes you don't even have the same tone. It's really hard. Yeah, to recreate so so what's going on now though Kels man so like I said yeah, I just did a new album mm. um, I'm really excited about it have you got a release date for it yet not yet not yet mm. I'm, I'm at the moment I've got a few things happening so I'm mm. about to be in a reality show yeah. oh yeah I saw something about yeah. that yeah it's cheaper in it Chief. Someone else is in there. No, no, you're talking about High Life. Yeah. I was on High Life, but I, was, oh, okay. but I wasn't I on it. My friend was on okay, it and I was just her friend. Um, but yeah, I'm about to be in a reality show. Um, it's called No Housewives in the South. Mm. Is it? So we start filming next week, actually. Who is it? Who else is in it? I can't, I don't know if I'm allowed to even tell you this mm, stuff. Mm, mm, mm. I think you just got to wait, but I'm in it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. What's yeah. it about, though? So, you know, like um, in America, we've got Atlanta Housewives yeah. and yeah. da, da, da. And up until the point when we had High Life, we didn't really have a black UK reality show. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what it is, really, like a black UK reality show. But we don't have husbands. We're, we're I was doing just it. about to say, where's your husband? We're doing it our damn selves, mm-hmm. isn't it? We're like, we're go-getters. We're mm-hmm. like independent women. Oh, so work. no one's got a husband. No housewives so in, in the, the South. South. Okay, okay. Some of them have got partners, but mm. it's more about us as women, like just being, you know. Eat it. Just being no, boss ladies. There's, there's going to be girls that mm. can obviously relate, relate to that. And, you know, and, you know, we were talking about me not having kids. That's part of one of my storylines in there because, you know. That's deep, you know. I'm of a certain age and I don't Mm -hmm. have kids. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, if I don't have them soon, I may never have kids. How do you Mm -hmm. feel about that? You don't even, soon is even mad. That's what I'm saying. How do I feel about that? I feel like I've thought about it so much that I've kind of let go of the dream. Mm -hmm. Um, which has been sad mm-hmm. and I've shed some tears on that mm-hmm. um, but then equally I think do I want to bring a kid into this madness and then I can adopt because I can love someone else's kid so mm-hmm. I could adopt <coughs> and I'm bloody busy man I don't, yeah. and you know one of the things that really terrifies me school runs yeah I don't know how people do that <laughs> when you have like a job where yeah. every day you're doing something different mm. to have some kind of daily regimen that every day I do the same it actually terrifies me yeah. that I would have to get up at a certain time every day get that kid ready get them to school I'm mm. just like oh, this is not my life like it, it petrifies me mm. I don't know how people do it I mean I'd have to have a nanny and she would take the kid to school and then I'd pick them up mm-hmm. but if yeah you I'd, say that until you have one did it yeah and then you just have to do it how yeah. many school runs you done I've done a few school runs. A few? Do you do them every day of your life? No. Exactly. If but you had to do school run every day of your live, blood clot live, life. I live close, yeah. but it's no day my baby mother. No, but school runs. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm saying, but if, as the woman, life. that falls on you most of the time, you know, and especially if you end up raising the kid by yourself, that's not my life. 
I'm just it petrifies me. Mm. So that that's um yeah I just I just don't want to do it alone. So I'm mm-hmm. looking into maybe getting a co-parent in sperm donor. Hmm. Yeah, because I I'm single as well. I've been single for like ooh, long time. <laughs> I bet you, as soon as you'd start doing the show. Saying no, housewife. That must probably be the time when you. Find but you know what though, I meet guys like all that. the time. But I just, you know. I just, it's very hard for me to resonate yeah. on certain freq- on certain frequencies with certain individuals. Yeah. Like there has to be, I call it the magic. There has to be the magic. You know, mm. um, I'm yet to find the magic. That's what. Do it you is. normally um, go for people in? Have like, do you date people in the in the same industry as you? Or I you never like to used to. I used to just date regular people which maybe that that was a problem because mm-hmm. you can't do what i do and date regular people because people are intimidated yeah. yeah i was gonna say they are even that? people that do what i do yeah. are intimidated do you know what i mean yeah um and also i get a lot of attention so if you're insecure in any way you can't date somebody yeah. like me yeah. you know which is unfortunate but all these things are kind of amalgamate into why I'm single. But I'm actually happy single, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. I'm happy single. I don't have a side piece. I'm celibate as well. I've been celibate for nearly coming on two years. Easy. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm happy, man. Sound like you need an MOT, mate. I'm all right, babe. Don't worry about me. I'm so having an MOT. Sound like you need an MOT. My lady garden is getting arrested. <laughs> sound like you're in need of a service, mate. No, thanks, babe. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, not, so, I'm not offering. What made you decide to become I'm celibate? Saying. Um, I think as you get older, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying I've never had a fuck buddy because I have, yeah. but mm. as you get older, I just, I want more than that. Yeah. Like, I want to be in love with somebody. And I think as a woman, the rigmarole we go through... Mm-hmm to keep our lady gardens intact mm-hmm. and pristine. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that for some, yeah, yeah, any, some any man, any, anyone. any man mm-hmm. grand. Mm-hmm. No. And then energies and people yeah, taking on their energies exactly. And, and, and I'm big on energy. And and like you know what, yeah? Know We're going to go into the current internal. affairs. We're going to go into the current affairs because Queen's going to start talking about love languages. And yeah, no, because... <laughs> I can't take all of that. But, but I'm into that female stuff. On yeah, the, that's on what I'm saying. Why can't we talk about female Love languages and all that. Yes, let's have cards. Let's have cards. Current affairs. Oh, I did blood clot. Yeah, I did <laughs> no, because she don't watch the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, what shall we start off with? Um, the versus battle, because we were talking about that. Bone Fugs and Harmony. Bone Fugs and Harmony. Did you get to watch it? No, I didn't. Didn't you? Yeah, was, see, it was them and who? Them and 3-6 Mafia. Six Mafia. Oh, was it good? With Juicy J. I didn't get to watch all of it because I was out this busy, weekend. Busy Bone, busy bone got pissed off and dashed yeah, the mic at Yeah, they got into a bit of a scuffle. In the what, because they were getting shelled? What? No, nah, I think like 3-6 three, Mafia. 3-6 three, Mafia must have just finished um, dropping the... Um, they was you know, the scissor, the scissor tune. Right. And then... Um, they was doing their little Buddha tune or whatever, but it's like they were singing. I don't know, but it's like they were dancing. Three Six Mafia was just taking a piss away. But my man, I think he's a madman, isn't it? Like he ain't took his his his, his madman pills or something. You can't no, say that. No, but that's what that's what they were saying. That's what they were saying. Jay you know was saying? calling him sis. They said madman pills. They was yeah. They was calling him sis and stuff like that. And and one of them told him to suck my dick. No, so but they told him, him suck his dick after. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, I watched it. That's a bit harsh. Oh, but there's... No, but he, 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 he was like, ah, oh, these ugly motherfuckers need to stop taking a piss or whatever, yeah? So man was like, suck my dick, innit? Like, and then he threw his mic at him. threw the mic at them, you get me? But then, and then they all ran into each all other. All the goons... Oh, it kicked off, yeah, it kicked off. That's the first time I've seen that, um, Versus go have a... Um, you know when it has to go to commercial break? Really? Yeah, they, cut it. They, they, they didn't get physical, no, but, like, but the crowds ran it. into each it. other and then they was arguing. To, I watched that bit. I didn't even see it go to commercial. Yeah, it went to I just commercial see, I, just see, <clears throat> I just see them, and it was more the Three Six Mafia. They were doing that. You get me? One yeah, might come they, true, flag it. They, and, but even when they came back on, you saw there was no busy bone. He wasn't there for a little yeah, while. He, he come on later. I they came on later and they, yeah, on. they come on later and then they, they reconciled like they shook oh, hands or whatever. Yeah, I, did, I didn't watch it to the but, end. Um, I thought it was shit. But apparently um, he had a problem with them anyway because right. he doesn't like their name. So he thinks they're very demonic. Three Six Mafia. Okay. And he was saying basically like, are they going to denounce their demonic, their satanic, what's oh, it called on the stage <laughs> and stuff like that. But he's got quite, he's got like a troubled past. Right. Man. So he had, he was kidnapped when he was a little boy. He oh, was on America's wow. Most Wanted. Wow. And um, he's been molested as well. 
Oh, I see. So he's had so when man said suck so, his dick, and he's that was cis very cool. And he's cis and all of that about his plats. He obviously, well, I don't know if that's the reason, but people are saying those could don't have been not. the Knock triggers up. of why. I'm just you know what I mean? you're really, like, no, but that's the truth. Mm. Like, you no, know but that, that would be very triggering. Trigger. It could be. <laughs> yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's done a star for a lot. Mm. So the next thing mm. is um, Tion Wayne. Um, clearing up the debt. Did you not hear about Tion Wayne? I and obviously Lani just live in my girl. own world. I know none of these things. I don't have a TV, you know. No, don't yeah. you? No. I don't watch TV. Yeah, Tion Wayne, he's like an um, um, artist, isn't he? I know who Tion oh, Wayne yeah, is. Oh, yeah, yeah, Some girl. But he did what? Some girl must have tried to say he owed, he owed, her, he owed her piece for a watch, innit? That she gave him. Okay, yeah. so it was an ex. Yeah, an it's ex. It's not even so an ex. He said yeah. he's, he's not even an ex. He's so I think they were seeing each other before he got famous. Yeah. And um, a Rolex watch or something got purchased on her credit yeah. card. So it wasn't his girl, but she let him, he let her she buy bought, him a watch. She but bought she, it for him. She, he reckons that she just she bought it for him. And he took it, though. She reckons yeah. that he took her card and she thought he was getting trainers and he's took an watch shit. on his card. She's chatting shit. She's that, chatting that's, shit. I've never said it. She's yeah, like, no, to be fair, saying, just saying. a Rolex is not cheap. It's at least mm. six, seven, ten. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was ten grand. She said. Or yeah, so, yeah. I think I'm not sure. The cheapest you can get a Rolex for is six, seven grand. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. everyone's even got six, seven grand on their on mm. their credit card. Mm. So yeah. she must have bought it for him. Yeah, mm. she bought it for him. Obviously, she just she mm. just trying it now, isn't it? Mm. The guy's got famous. She's pissed. You get what I'm saying? She she gave she him, ch- he gave her her money back. Eventually, eventually. So she's kept on going on about it, and you know, like. Basically taking it to the internet. Has he still got the watch? I don't even know if he's got the watch. He's literally been ignoring it. He hasn't responded all this time. So then she done a TikTok. She's been crying in the, you know, like saying that she's getting debt letters Humpteen years later, coming to her family, I think it's to her family's house or something like that about this debt. She said it's a seven grand debt and he should clear it and whatever. So it's gone to the internet. Everyone, you know, the public have got involved and stuff like that. So then he's come he's come on now and he said that she must send the letter to his um management and they'll clear the debt. Mm. So they've now cleared the debt. So now Okay. Yeah, it's been done. Good for her. <clears throat> with me. Like, I'm with him. Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? I'm with him because it's like you bought, she bought the watch, yeah? Mm. He was 21, innit? Mm. He was 21. She bought him a watch. Mm. And I kind of agree. I he's agree. gone with the watch, yeah. innit? She's like, bought, he's gone with the watch. Like, he bought she, me a watch. Yeah. Do you know what man was doing them time there? Mm. Like, the yeah. kind of crimes mm. man's doing. No, no, For I agree. you to come and give I me agree. a watch, mm. a Rolex. I'm gone mm. with that. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. He's more embarrassed that he even beat her. Mm. He's more embarrassed that she can I say that. I really don't like that term. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I apologise. I forget his two girls. But. Remember, it's beer man watching, innit? Mm. So it's like, boom. Do you know one of my exes once? We were, we dated for five years. Mm. And he phoned me up and then he thought he put the phone down and he didn't. Mm. And he went, do you know who that was? He went, yeah, that's Kelly Rock. He goes, I used to beat her. Oh, oh. And then I was like, <laughs> so I, put, I called him back. I said, did you just say you used yeah. to beat me? Yeah. Yeah. I said, did we not live together for five, five years? years? Don't <laughs> fucking cool. disrespect yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, oh, it's Come man on. them, innit? It's man them. I said, don't <laughs> fucking disrespect me. Did he, did he beat again, though? Did he get to beat no. again? No. <laughs> I mean, we're still friends, but we we, we lived together for five uh, years, uh, uh. and you're chatting like I'm some any gal that used to give me a little one away day. How men talk with their friends and how they talk in front of girls is two different. It's mm. like it's different right. when you. It's just boom. disrespectful. Right. Yeah. We were back, in love. Back to the point. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the point. Yeah. Back to the point. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I would keep that watch. Do you get what I'm saying? And mm. That just like he kept the he watch. He kept the watch. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. When she's going like. That's why he waited to to pay. Of course, he could he could have paid back a long time ago, mm, innit? He could have mm. paid back. He could have paid it long. But you're just chatting shit. You mm. coming on the internet. You're chatting mm. shit all the time. Mm. I wouldn't pay you either. And to be fair, let's I wouldn't be pay honest. you either because you're chatting shit all the time. All exposure is exposure. Mm-hmm. So now we're all talking about Tion Wayne. Mm. No, no, me? no. But it wasn't good exposure. Still, exposure, I mean? exposure, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Exposure is exposure. You get what I'm saying? Now I can make a song about. You but know, she's still going to be talking about it. I think in the last half, <laughs> she's still going to be talking about it. His people, there must have been like, do you know what? She needs to just shut up. Like I think he gave it to her. If anything, to just shut up. But she's yeah. still going to be talking. Do you know talking. what I mean? Well, we'll see. Because what else can she say now? She's still going to be mm. talking, mum. You get me? Mm-hmm. Next to you. She has a little bit of fame. Um, she wants some ma. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a million views on a TikTok. <laughs> um, do you know um, Khloe Kardashian and her fella Tristan Thompson? Are they back together again? I thought yeah, they well, broke up well, and got back together and broke up. Well, it looked like they got back. In the last half, it's looking like they've got back together again. That's okay. for you two to talk. And he's basically oh, his personal trainer <laughs> has basically 
just given birth to a baby boy. And it's his? Huh? And it's his baby? Yeah, basically. <gasps> So um, <laughs> it's been going to the courts. He's, he's a dog. He is terrible. Like, basically, From he did the thing with Jordan. Like they was... From he did the thing with Jordan, which is her little sister's best friend, mm -hmm. even though Jordan should have known better, she should have known that man is a dog. But I, I you know, I understand she, they've got a baby together at the time and sometimes you want to make the family work. So she gave him another chance. But she's got to let that one go now. Mm -hmm. He's a dog. Yeah, so basically he sent a text. The girls released a text message. That he sent to her? That he sent to the same, trainer. Saying what? So he says, you know how I feel. My feelings haven't changed at all. Won't be involved at all. By the way, if you think you're having this baby, if you think by having this baby is going to make you some money, it's completely wrong. You are aware that I'm retiring after this season. So in terms of support, it will be whatever is required monthly for someone who's unemployed. It's Texas, so it will be only a couple of hundred of dollars. So you better, so you're better off taking this seventy five k I'm offering you because you won't get anything near near that with having a kid with a father who's unemployed. All you ha will have is a baby with a father who has zero involvement with the child and a few hundred dollars of child support a month. Oof, that's harsh. So literally, but you know, again. You know, I, you know, like there are certain women that prey on certain type of men yeah. because they know that they're loose. Yeah. And she could have well have tried to have a baby to make, yeah. you know, to strike gold. She, that could have been her MO. But equally, that's his picnic and he should, he should take but care of his How much picnic. times has that happened to him already? He's a so dog. For, for, for that to happen, reach you now, it's not even like that's the first time. So come on. But now. you know what? Like, I don't what ever understand. Like, wear a fucking condom. Yeah, exactly. If you're going to fuck out on your missus, at this point, wear a condom. Tristan's just, um, he's just easy pickings. Do you is. know what I'm saying? Isn't yeah. It? He's just for like, everyone. if you're a gold digger, like, you're like, go for Tristan. Yeah. Do you know Do you what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. 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 Next thing, Tristan, I eat it. Next thing. Um, <laughs> Wiley gets banned from the internet again. Again? They let him back and he got banned again? What did yeah. he say? What did he do? More yes. Jewish stuff. Yeah. Jewish stuff. He can't do that, you know. <coughs> I get that it's his platform and he feels that he can speak freely, but you can't slag off the Jews. Mm -hmm. You can slag off black people, but you can't slag off the Jews and you can't slag off the gays. That's it. Exactly. Yeah, but big up Wiley, but No, big him up. Big him up. I big I, I think he's um he's part of foundation. Yeah. Um I respect his honesty. Um, but unfortunately you can't say them thing there, babe. Mm. Moving on <laughs> swiftly <laughs> before I start having this. I know, get, I know. Um, yeah, yeah, moving on swiftly. Yeah, we don't use, yeah, yeah. so um, Alhan gets um, the gas works. What are? We had Alhan on the show. Basically, he used to have a show called um, Gas Works. Do you know who Alan is? Do you know mm -mm. Alhan? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm so sheltered, aren't I? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, does, does I just big, live in my own garage podcast. bubble. He does yeah. a big podcast with okay. that yeah. other guy, a poet. Oh, I love poet. Yeah. So it's the guy. Oh, With the long hair. Yeah, yeah. You know is he like from the glasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I know yes. you're talking about. Yes, so I don't know that P. was his name. Name P. So they basically was on a um, they was on a network. I think it's um gas. Is it Boiler Room? Boiler Room. Oh, Boiler Room. I've done stuff with them, yeah. Yeah, so they that was their gas work show was on Boiler Room, but right. they weren't making any money off of it. And right. I think with the COVID, they had to stop it and stuff like that. Mm. So um, he's tweeted. And he's um, offered them, he's got his own company now, and he's offered them um, £100,000 um, for the trademark of gas Gasworks. Right. And um, Boiler Room has replied to him, and they basically said that they're going to give it to him for free. Oh, that's nice. And good nice. luck with the show. Oh, that's nice. So that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, because if they weren't paying him, you know, at least they were honourable in that in that sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, big yeah. up Alan, man. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah. Good. I thought that was good. I think that was a jack move of him doing it publicly as yeah. well, you know, yeah. so they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kind of had to give it to the him. power of the internet. Get yeah, you know, come on. I posted something about him talking about that Gasworks thing on the TikTok and it kind of went viral mm. about a couple of days before, so they probably saw that. I just knew that they'd <laughs> get me, they better give... My well, you know, a lot of the time I I do use the, you know, oh, well, I'll post it on my Instagram. And, and yeah, it, it does have power. Mm -hmm. It does have power mm -hmm. for sure. Not negative things even, but just sound like if you want something or you just be like, oh, I can post it on my Instagram for you. And then they see that you've got quite a few followers and they're like, mm. oh, okay, cool, you can have it. You know, mm. so, yeah. And um, it's the world we live in, it's a crazy world now. Yeah. <laughs> did you hear about Virgil? Yes, I did. Yeah, sadly, he passed away of cancer. I know. And, um, 
Yeah, because we're going to be talking about fashion See my little well, Louis like, dog? He, uh, yeah. His name's Virgil. Oh, really? After Virgil, yeah. Oh. Okay. Before he died, he was named yeah, Virgil. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that Virgil. Virgil died, and I've, I've been seeing beer conspiracy because even like ice cream was saying and stuff like, what was he saying? My friend said he was sacrificed. I was yeah. like, that's too much for me right now, baby. Mm. Yeah, some conspiracy thing, but my whole thing is like, can't just people just die these People days. do just see, die. Like, yeah, people see, do. every single time someone famous dies, yeah, it's always like, oh, this or that or that, like some conspiracy. Yeah. Well, we're all going to die. Like, mm. I've got regions that's died, you get what I'm saying, yeah. of, mm-hmm. of normal stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And no, one ne- no one ever thought it was a conspiracy. It's where we're all going, isn't it? We're you all going I mean? there eventually. And the longer we're here, the more people that will die. Like, I'm hearing like stuff, oh, how do you know he had cancer? Oh, he's a barlet. He's looking like he had cancer. Like he didn't not look like he didn't have but cancer. But he held it as well. You know, like some no, but people, people do people that. Yeah, know. but that's what yeah. I'm saying. People do that. Yeah, they don't you know? want people to know. It's their business. Yeah. People do that. What you got to say about that? Yeah, that happens. Well, I've seen loads of memes and, you know, been saying Virgil was here and he was. His mark yeah, is he undeniable. A, he made a, a massive impact. Do you know what and I mean? he's forever in the ether. That's the power I of don't, I don't even know the guy like that or how people was... Like, I thinking, remember from when Kanye was talking also about he's when he was working with him. also because he's a black guy doing yeah. what he was doing, so he was highly inspirational in that film. I saw, his fam- I saw his family picture and he was the only black guy in it. Mm. So saying he was a black guy is like, He all was right, still a cool. black guy, babe. He's, he's still done things what black Who's people ain't been able to in? do in the fashion world, though. You know, he's like being ahead biscuit. of Louis Vuitton and stuff. Yeah, like but that, when he's so. walking around with his black face, he's still his black face. He's he he. You know, when we do what we do, he's like the Oreo fact biscuit. that I, as a black woman, I was doing what I was doing, it it inspired another little black girl to know that she could do what I was doing. So, seeing his family photo, why why weren't his mom and dad allowed to be in the picture? Who said they weren't allowed? So where are they? I don't know. But I'm just Why saying, you're speculating right now. You don't know any of this. Know, when that picture was posted, though, in the comments, it said survived there by. There was a lot of comments that thought that picture, that it just had a certain energy about that picture, Fair I enough. think, though. Yeah. Him just standing in the back, in the shadows, and they didn't even hold, they wasn't holding on to him. It was the family, you know, all holding each other. And he just looked, do you know what I mean? It just had a, the blog, maybe the blogs know what they're doing posting that picture yeah. as well. Because, you know, they, they found knew, one. They, do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, they yeah. knew what, because what, mm. there was a, there was a little energy on that. Fair thing, enough. On the way I'd, I'd have the to picture see it. You have to show me the picture. We'll show you. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so that was that. And um, lastly, because then we're going to talk about fashion, the MOBO Awards have just come up. And um, so I want to do like a little... Yay or nay with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So the first one I've got is Leanne from Little Mix. Have Yay. This is see. gorgeous. I love it. I love I love a flounce. I yeah, love a frill. Cool. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh, I'm not sure actually. Mm. It's cute, but I'm not sure about this bit here. Mm-hmm. But I do love a tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, nah, she looks like she needs to be in... Um, not in a carnival, yeah. Here you go. What's wrong with Lionel Carnival? Not, that is a great place. Definitely not in a carnival, but go on, next one. Um, maybe it's the picture. I, like I do like. Dress. I do like it. I like the next one. Not in a carnival. Next one. Okay. So the next one. What did you have to say about it? Because you're just making us say what we're saying, and you're not saying that. Yeah, she's a yeah yeah. Oh, I said it's a yeah okay, for yeah. me. Right. Yeah. Next one is Steph London. Steph. That's very demure for her, isn't it? Oh, okay. Mm. It's a yay at the top and a nay at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't like that thing at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know what's going on at the bottom. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Was Burner Boy there? Was she getting married? (laughs) (laughs) It's a yay at the top. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it looks a bit like a tent. You know yeah. the pop-up tents? It looked to me like when you're having a photo <laughs> shoot and they use the thing for yeah. the lighting. Yeah, I love her. I think she's but, mad um, talented. No, she's cute. She, she's got I face and I, that. I agree yeah. with, she's beautiful. I agree, I agree with you. She's beautiful and so talented. Yeah. Nice at the top. Yeah. But I'm not sure about the bottom bit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I'd say that's not in all carnival as well, though. But and then on. we've got That's Jamelia. not in all carnival as well, though. Jamila, good. And I saw a TikTok of her dancing with her daughters, which was really cute. Jamila. Do you know what? It's a yay, and I love that she's really pioneering this mm-hmm. rock your own hair. Yeah, the natural, yeah. innit? Yeah. And she's beautiful. She she's gorgeous, young. innit? Yeah, yeah she still yeah. looks young. She looks fresh. Her body's lovely. Yeah. Do you know Mental. what I mean? Mental. And she was in her What's own What's that ends. for you? 
What's that for me? Do you think I want to get shot up like Maxwell? Oh, this is no. a yay. That's yeah, a long story yes. ago, babe. That happened oh. years ago. No, she's this is a, a yay. Um, get me. We know that <laughs> story. That that's a yay. yay. See, by this, with this picture as well, she looks like she don't have to do a lot. Yeah. She just, you know. She just naturally. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, she's a yes. And then lastly, we have ZZ Mills. Yes to ZZ Mills. I saw that on her TikTok as well. She was doing a walk and she dropped. <laughs> ZZ. <laughs> 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 Why not? I feel like there's a story here. What's the story? <laughs> What's the story? No, maybe it's the pose. Now, can you see what, yeah? Oh, well, let me see. Like, that's why. That's about? how I feel with Leanne, though, because with Leanne, the pose was a no for oh, me. No, no, she no. looked like she didn't like her own dress. I love the dress. <laughs> Leanne looked like she didn't her like face her looks dress. Now, you must have had a better picture than no, that. Zizi looks good. Zizi looks good. Now, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm always chatting shit, yeah? But Zizi, Zizi's she's picking up. She's picking up her sort of still, but it might be the pose. Do you get me? Remember, this is the mobile so what don't you like red about carpet. It? Do you like it? Is it a yes for but you, you know guys? What, though, sometimes this is fashion, It's you a know? yes for me. Yeah. But, you know, like, and I love green as well, actually. I like green. Sometimes, you know, as we all know, when you take those pictures, they might capture you in a way and then they promote, you know, because if we were taking our own pictures, we'd take yeah. about 50. I feel like Listen, the strap should have been one. a bit tighter. Listen, just, you know, like day, a little bit of, come on, we're just going to keep it real. A it's a bit, it's a at bit the end of, end of the day, for me. When I go out, I wouldn't want people bugging, but, judging um, me. My favourite, I forgot there was one Everyone more, but my favourite was um, Tiwa Savage. Oh, yes, Tiwa! To me, she was the, Who? Um, Tiwa Savage. Who is she? She, what do you mean? Who's Tiwa Savage? She does Afro beats. Yeah. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, she yeah. was gorgeous. I think she looked, I felt she gave She it, was a vast. I birthday thought she was giving. Oh, she had a yeah. birthday party, yeah. She looks gorgeous. Yeah, I thought she was giving. But you can see as well, like, she was prepared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She understood the assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she was, was ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I think, yeah, so big up to you all for that. Yeah, so um, that was the awards. We had a couple of guys, actually, I remember. that? I can't pronounce this. Is it P.A. or Pasalio? Oh, Salud. 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 Yeah, come to. But I liked his little drip. I yeah, would say yes. Nice. Yeah, I would nice. say yes. His team's popping his, still. Yeah. I'd say yes. The only thing he, I would the, say the boot cuts. is that the bottom of the trousers needed yeah, yeah, a little hemming. Come mm-hmm. on. Come mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. Come on. You know fashion. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. You know fashion. Yeah, yeah. You know fashion. Yeah, yeah, you, know fashion. Yeah, you know fashion. Yeah, yeah. Straight away, that's what I was going to say. The... The thing but put for together, style with the it, colour yeah, and, and, well, and, and uh, them, yeah, yeah, them trousers yeah. they need to get. Yeah. You know me? And then the last one was um, that I saw with the guys was unknown T. Unknown T. Homer and B. Yeah, he weren't trying to. He weren't trying to get too emotional. Mm. You can see he weren't trying to get too emotional. Yeah, yeah. He just mm. kept it. Yeah, no, he it? looks nice. He played it safe, yeah, but yeah, I thought yeah. he still looked nice though. Yeah, he looks yeah. stylish. He looks stylish. Yeah, he weren't trying to do the emotional thing. Just straight. Yeah, he looks like a driller. <laughs> he comes through like a driller. You get me? Yeah, so that was that. Hey, what? I got your fire around. You want fire around, right? Yes. Let's go, go, let's fire. fire. Around. Get me. Two pack or Biggie? Biggie. Biggie? Mm. Okay. Jay Z or Nas? Jay Z. Beyonce or Shanti? Beyonce. Whitney or Mariah? Whitney. Obviously. Amy or Adele? Amy. Got to be Amy. They teach her to say Adele. I didn't stuff. say Adele. I said you like Adele. From old school as it's, well, it's, isn't it? It's, it's, it's on the camera. You I know didn't what I'm say Adele. <laughs> hey, uh, Movado or Vibes? Vibes. Come on. Guys are with there. <laughs> Jungle or Garage? Garage. Come on. Garage or House? Garage. Gonna be garage for you. But I love house. I say house over garage. I know, I love yeah. house, but you know what it is as well? I have to think, when I'm answering these I'll questions... I'll say house over garage. I ain't asked that one before. No, but when I'm... I'll say, um, garage. Gosh, I think maybe house. I'd say house over garage. But I love but garage. But when I'm answering so these questions... But if I think of, like, songs that have stuck in my head... Yeah. For yeah over the garage, time, yeah. it have to be garage. Yeah, That's yeah, gonna yeah. bring me back and really make yeah. me, you know... Yeah, R&B yeah. or hip-hop? R&B. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Come on. Fanta or Tango? I don't drink that rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink fizzy drink, man. Orange or apple juice? Apple juice. Chinese or Italian? Chinese. Chinese or Italian? I switched it up. I'm Chinese. Mm. I like Any both, to be fair. I think maybe Italian. Italian. I like both. Um, Turkish or Indian? Indian. Indian. 
Turkish. BMW or Merc? Merc. Come on. Jeep or Coupe? Jeep. Come on, I see your hammer, I see your hammer. <laughs> I'd be for a Napa. It's got to be Napa, got innit? Be I love Ibiza, but it's got to be that. I've got so many memories. good memories, yeah, memories. in Napa. Oh. Napa. So many good memories in Dubai Napa. Dubai or Mobs? Dubai. Come on, I'd, I'd say Dubai quicker. Mm. America or Caribbean? Caribbean. America or Caribbean. And you love the layers also, well, that's saying a lot for the Caribbean. I'm Jamaican, aren't I? <laughs> America or Caribbean? I'm stuck. Caribbean for me. Yeah, Caribbean Rice and peas or jollof? Rice and peas, man. <laughs> yeah, come on. With kidney yeah. beans, though. Yeah. Rice and peas. These are part of me. They part of me to rice and peas anyway. <laughs> Nike or Adidas? Adidas. I'll say Nike quick. Nike. Do you know what it is? I'm thinking of their trainers and because I've got Marga foot, they're too wide on oh, my foot. No, no. Gucci or Louis? Louis. Gucci or Louis? Louis. Come on. Louis. Versace or Mosh? Moschino. Versace or Moschino? Versace. 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 Zara or Selfridges? But you can't say, say Zara. Yes, or I can. Yes, I can. You can't. Zara, Zara or Selfridges. Oh, you mean Miss Selfridges? No, what I'm, no, I'm, I mean Selfridges. But what Selfridges I'm trying to say, let me tell you. Let me tell there. you why I'm saying that. Because right. obviously Selfridges, that's like the proper designers, isn't it? And then Zara, I know what I mean. Like you want a big spend on? Do you rather? You should be compared it to something of a similar. That's what elk. it is. That's what it is. It's which one do you pick? You, you can't. You pick if you rather Zara or you're Selfridges. You're gonna have a huge. You're gonna have a larger. Do you? Uh, would you rather go Zara? I say Selfridges or Selfridges then. Thank you. Zara Anybody was gonna rather go Selfridges. Exactly, and that yeah. wasn't a good one. No. I rather I rather Zara. Huh. That was then Selfridges one. with all different brands in there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I said if it was Miss Selfridges, that's different because it's similar inside brand, or outside. Similar brand. Inside or outside. I can't even say inside or outside to a boy no more after what uh-huh. I stand and looked at. Inside. Me. <laughs> you like it inside, look. <laughs> she see? <laughs> she love it inside. But yeah. Boom. She don't want it outside. Hold on. <laughs> Looks or personality? Personality. You answer that already. Mm-hmm. She love bad man or she love good boy? She love good boy that can be bad. <laughs> good, what type of you good bad boy? boy that can be good? No, no. She love bad man. I don't love bad men anymore. They're trouble. You on top or doggy style? Both of my favourites. You on top I start or on top style? by ending doggy style. Oh, right. oh my God. <laughs> six toys or no six toys? Six toys. What you know? See the age. See the age difference? Yeah, big people taking Yeah, yeah come on, come on, now, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing them. Now come on, now you see that. I'm doing a documentary on female masturbation. You mm. should come mm. in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spit yeah. or swallow? Or can't you remember? You're so funny. <laughs> can't you remember? I don't want to answer that one. Yeah. <laughs> Money or love? Money. See it really? <laughs> See it Do you know what? I've done it for love so many times. I've done it for love and it never works out. So fuck it. I need the money. Mm. I'm tired of being the breadwinner. Yeah. I'm tired of upgrading men. Yeah. Like, I need to be upgraded. And that, my dear, what's the fire around? There we go. Yes. So, boom, Thank we're going to go into the main subject now. We're going to talk about this fashion thing. Because uh, obviously uh, it worked out well because... You know, I didn't understand my selfridges versus... Because it was stupid. Yeah, it was, it was allegedly stupid, whatever. <laughs> but, mom, I got it. You get me? So I'm going to now explain it to you more. Mm-hmm. Go on then. Like, you see, like, you got people, yeah. Like, for instance, they wear fake clothes. Mm. Yeah. I don't get it, but they'll wear fake clothes or go, like, Sunday market and buy fake shit mm. for stuff that, say, selfridges mm. sell, yeah, for, like... Expensive, mm. I don't know, proper stuff, yeah. Then that's what. Then that's why they proper do proper brands, yeah. So they go and they buy fake stuff. But then you got Zara. I think they got nice clothes in Zara, but it's not as expensive, innit? Do you get what I'm trying to say? And that's what I meant. Like <coughs> that's what I was trying to say. Is I was trying to get to what taste do you rather spend bare money on clothes or? But people look like nice the name brand, so but they possibly mean? can't afford the real name brand, mm. so they buy a fake name brand. What do you think about that? I think that's mental. I don't. I've bought fake stuff before, mm, so yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's mental. What do you think? Well, um, I, I think just, it's I mental think, spending think, two grand on a bag. 
Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you do know that really, really <laughs> rich people, yeah. they buy like really, um, sorry, sorry. they buy really good fakes bags. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. no one's going to think that they're carrying a fake bag. Exactly. Mm. And if they're going to spend how many thousands of pounds on something, do you know what I mean? Exactly. Do you get me? I don't yeah, know. No. I don't know. I don't know because um, the when rich I went people to Dubai, are not buying real stuff. So I don't when know. I went to Dubai, that's what I heard though. Yeah, I went I to Dubai know. and I went to one of them places. The rich people are not buying real stuff. And he said Drake stuff. comes here all the time. Really? Yeah, and buys bags for his people, like his people. Drake's there. a mm. fake though, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? He's, he's a fake guy. I'm just saying, but, it doesn't matter how much money you've got. When you think about it, like I never buy tables because I think, mm. it's not that I can't afford it. I just don't think it's worth the money. I mm. don't think, no, but I'm saying, if you don't think it's worth the money, why won't you just go Zara? They sell nice clothes. Because I like that design of that thing. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But I'm saying, no, I like the design of that thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But I don't think it's worth that money. How do you think the person that Especially actually, if it's seasonal. How do you think the person that actually... Next season's out of season. Mm. How do you think the person that actually designed that, yeah, the real person feels about you going to buy... They don't fit. like black people buying their clothes no, anyway. No, but I'm just saying... So what I'm difference saying? does it make? So it, you clearly like wearing this stuff, so it makes... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but whether I buy it for real or whether I buy it for fake or whether I get given it, you know, I'm still promoting their stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's different for girls, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe it's different but for girls. But I'm still girls. promoting it, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's different for girls, but me, personally, I don't get it because it's like, to me, it's I like these days... I do think girls can get away with like, it more than guys these days, doing it. Like, you, yeah. These days, to me, it's like fake. They're trying to make fake the new real. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I can fake be the new real. I, I have no problem with say? that. It's like... Everything's fake, babes. Fake, Nothing is real. Fake followers. Or is everything real fake and followers, fake? Fake jewellery. But babe, fake, but fake babe, views. If you get a bag... Fake bottom. If you get a bag, tits, if you get a fake... Fake lips. If you get a fake Louis bag, mm. it's still a fucking bag. Yeah, yeah, Exactly. So it's real. It's a real bag. Yeah, but it's not a real Louis bag. Go and get a... a, a you know but a lot mean? of the time, Louis getting them made in the exact same place where the fake ones are getting made. Like you said, if you get the top-notch ones, they're being made at the same place. Mm. The only difference is the price. That's mm. it. But what, what do you think Virgil had to say about all of that? Do you think Virgil rates people wearing fake stuff? Because he was such an icon. Um, I, I, I the don't... The ether. Didn't you say he's the ether? I, don't, I know, I said he's in the ether. Yeah, but what do you think he has to say? Um, what do you I, think he he probably didn't like that? it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. fashion is fashion, isn't it? Well, someone cussed me off from wearing my fur coat the other day on, on, on Instagram. Mm. You know, every, not everyone's going to be happy with the choices that you make, but that's why they've got their own life and yeah, they yeah. can make their own choices. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, I think, girls, I think girls get away with it more. Do you know what I mean? And I think as well, like I said, because I, I make my own clothes, I buy lots of stuff from China because for stage wear, I'm, especially with Instagram, you, you know, it's a one wear thing. And yeah. I don't have a stylist. I style myself. So it's not like people are pulling clothes for me and I have to style myself, do my own hair, do my own makeup. So I buy loads of stuff from China. It's cheap and cheerful. Some of it might look Versace-esque or whatever. That's where I'm saying that I wear like stuff that looks like other stuff and mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. But I'm doing £12, 15 quid a pop. So, mm -hmm. and I need clothes through the whole year. So that's perfectly like, fine for me. Yeah, for real, because the fashion, the fashion... If I'm spending £500 on an outfit and I've got three gigs this weekend, three gigs next weekend, like I'm killing myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just working you. to buy clothes. I hear you. You know, know what I mean? So I hear you. I, me, I'm a man, I'm more like to promote that I've got a washing machine. Like if you look on my Insta or whatever you see, I might wear so the same thing. Yeah, I don't, repeat. I don't, I'm not a man that you'll just see one thing, you just see it in that one piece. You might, if you go through the pictures, you'll see a couple of things, a couple of mm -hmm. times still. Because I promote, I've got a washing machine yeah. and I know how to use well, it. Well, I am more about like the sustainable fashion thing now. And obviously when I had the fire, I had no clothes. They took all my clothes to be cleaned. So mm. I managed to grab a few things and then I was having to buy clothes. So I was re-wearing the clothes a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. mm. And even someone cussed me and said, you're always in that belt. Don't you feel ashamed of yourself? You know them horrible trolley people. Mm. And I said, it's sustainable fashion, darling. Mm. I said, yeah. plus I had a fire and I've got no clothes. What's like your I literally, I know, mm. people, like, I know people that buy stuff, go to the shop, buy stuff, po once they posted it, they sell they it, they put it, it on eBay. Yeah, they put it on yeah. eBay and yeah. all that. Like, that's how hard people are going for this fashion thing mm. and this Instagram thing. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'm just very I see, like, you see some people on the Instagram, they make me laugh. They literally if not live hurting for a picture. Anybody, they live for a picture every day. If they're not crazy, hurting anybody, mad. like do you in it. And mm. the internet is a big money making business now. There are people like obviously the Cabs family, I met them out the other night, and they've both given up their full time jobs and they just do internet stuff now because they can they make the Cabs family. Oh, I don't know. They're a black yeah, family they and they've got the little girl and she's always in the dancing in the car with Miley. She's so cute. You if you see them, you'll say, Oh them, because you you'll know them. They're a black family, mm -hmm. you're gonna recognize. Mm -hmm. I might not know them. You do. But, um, 
you know that and it, it's a, such a big industry now and it's it's a money spinner for so many people and you know, when I do my little things on Instagram and TikTok and stuff, it's time consuming, yeah? yeah. It takes fucking ages and all the editing and all that. So power to them. If they've yeah. made that their job now, that every day they make sure they post a picture. I know it's not as simple as just posting mm. a picture. That's taking them hours of man of man labour. Yeah. Yeah. And just for that just one for picture. Just that one picture mm. of, and if, of the clothes that yeah. they're going to put on eBay. Now. But off the, off the back of that, they're making money. So power to them because it's not easy. Not everyone. It's, it's only hard work. I was going to say, <laughs> if you're making money off yeah, it, then power to them, but yeah. people that are just that's they're all they're that. living to mm. make their money to do that but you're also then, some people are speculating to accumulate aren't they so they're yeah. like my goal is to get 200,000 followers in the next six months or to a year and then when I get to that goal I can make this amount from posts and like there are some people you see them you think oh they don't have that many followers but they're doing the most you know mm. I guess they're just speculating to accumulate but it's, it's hard the, work you could just buy followers you know what I mean yeah, but it's not Which the same when you buy followers, people, is it? Because they're not all fe- do. they don't interact with you. Like I they, interact with my followers because they're know, genuine you get people, followers. You get people they buy they especially if they're signed because they're labeled, they're in it. They buy the followers, they buy the interaction. You get if you go through the you can see the comments, it's just big, and you get the um, blue tick mm. comments. I get these people DMing me all the time. I know it's, it's oh god, I get happens, at least five of That's them every do. day. Mm-hmm. People saying, "Can people we up your followers?" All the views, all the views you go and you see something like four thousand likes. Yeah. With 12 comments. comments. Yeah, you lot got the same amount. I'm going to tell yeah. you something. Mm. I was going to say to you earlier. Like, or 27,000 views mm. with three comments. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, that's mm. not real. Like, come on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is, but this is normal. It's not real, but it's normal. Yeah. It's the world we live in. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because that's what... Don't hate the player. Like, I, I literally, hate the I player. literally see some people and I think, how do you go sleep and wake up and be cool with looking in the mirror? Because I know 100%, like... You got fake followers, you got fake views, but yeah. but, fake jewelry, but if that fake person, noise. but if that person is making a grand every time they post something, that's it, they mm. that's why they do it. Mm. But if they were making a grand every time they um, posted something, yeah. everything would be real. <laughs> maybe maybe not, but they <laughs> had to, me? like I said, but they had to get to the followers first before they could make the yeah, money. Yeah, the, the, they didn't because they just bought the followers. That's what I'm saying. It's fake. It's everything. No, fake. but once you've got you've amassed a certain amount of followers. Mm, but they've amassed it by buying it. Yeah, but, but then you can make money. That's what I'm saying. So maybe that's why they amassed the fake followers so that they could have a portfolio that they were able mm. to go forward and do that type of stuff. Yeah, but, no, you I'd know. rather do with my real and the most thing. Like, some people fake it to make, till they make it, which is, that's, that's, you know what I mean? Like I said, if you're not hurting anybody. I have no problem with anyone doing whatever they want to do, however they want to do it. It's none of my business. What's your favourite brands at the moment? My favourite brands. Um, Real, though, not the fake. Um, I've always loved Versace. Mm. I think oh, because I love, like, gold. Mm-hmm, and even mm-hmm. when silver was in, I still wore gold. Yeah, I just, I love yeah, gold. I love and I'm gold. quite ostentatious. I like, yeah. like, stuff that's a bit, m- just a standy outy. Yeah. And I think Versace kind of embodies that. They're quite mm. out there. Um, I've never purchased Louis clothes. I've only got bags and, yeah, like, purses yeah, and stuff from yeah. Louis. Um, I do like Gucci. Mm-hmm. But again... Um, I find them a bit pricey. And um, <clears throat> I like Dolce & Gabbana as well. Old school. Mm. Old school. I am old yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Krim? I like, I like Machino as well. I've got some Machino bits. Mm. I like um, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga I like at the moment. Yeah, that's well. Do you know who I really I love really but like I cannot Balenciaga. afford at all is, um, what's the, the Oliver Rousting is their thingy. What are they called again? Balmain. Balmain Balmain stuff yeah, is Balmain. Yeah, that's nice Chanel is nice as well ba- mm. if I could afford Balmain yeah. like, I've got a fake Balmain dress how about Ob- that obviously <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show it to you I'm going to tell you my dress is hard <laughs> You know the dress that um, Kylie Kylie wore with all the tassels? Yeah. Yeah, I got one from China. Mm. It's beautiful. Really? Yeah. And it's a really good copy. But, um, yeah, I, the real one was something like 23 grand. Yeah. It was something like ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't yeah. afford that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what Steph should have wore. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> <Werner> man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Balmain would be like, I can't afford Balmain, Balmain but Balmain, Balmain would be my number one like choice. Balmain as well. Yeah. yeah, I hope they do like a, a H and M collab. <laughs> they haven't done one in a while, have they? I think um, 
Oh, no, they did do one, didn't they? Who? Balmain, Balmain did one with... Um, was, didn't they do something? The Henley's collab. Did yeah, with Henley's. Yeah, with H&M. They did do they a did. Henley's collab. Yeah, they did. I think I didn't get anything from them because I, I went to the store and I queued up outside and I couldn't get in. That's what it was. I should have just done it online. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the, the Machino one, I did it online. I got everything. Hmm. <laughs> I think... Um, I got the boots. I got the top. I got the... Bit, I got everything. I just did all of it online. I got every piece. Do you like online shopping? Um, I do, but I'm also, I like, I'm very like, I like to feel stuff, stuff, but I like on, to and yeah. touch it and see yeah. the fabric and how it stretches and mm-hmm, stuff. Mm-hmm. But with a lot of the Chinese stuff, it's all online, but yeah. I, I rely on reviews and stuff and people taking pictures. So whenever I buy stuff, I always make sure I take a picture and leave a review so that someone else buying it can know how it fits. Because with the Chinese sizes, sometimes they're really small, sometimes they're really big. Yeah. So um, I rely a lot on reviews when I do online shopping. I think that um, Louis Vuitton and I'd say Burberry are the two brands that hit the nail on the head when it comes to timeless design. Yeah. You know, like their trench coat, they're yeah. just their, 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 their um, scarves, you know, like just their yeah. print. Yeah. It's like every year, no matter what year, their print is just still, you yeah. can just wear I mean, I do love a monogram. Anything. I love you a monogram. I mean? yeah. What about they're shoes? Good. I, to be honest, I don't really wear designer shoes anymore because I find them really uncomfortable. And as I've got to a certain age, I can't wear heels anymore. Shoes in general? Um, like, what, what shoes do you wear? I don't wear, like, any, no. any designer shoes. What are they? Do you know where these are from? No. My mum loves this shop online. It's called Everything Five Pound. Mm. Really? These are five pound. Really? Yeah. That's what, you that's, would never, mm. that's what I mean about fashion, isn't it? But you, yeah. you made it work. But it's not what you wear. But they're with comfortable. Everything is how you wear it. I just need to be comfortable because yeah. I cannot wear heels anymore. Yeah. So like all my Jimmy Choo's and I can't mm. wear none of them shoes anymore. Like I've never had a pair of um, Louboutins because they're ridiculously high. They, no, those are uncomfortable. They broke up your Literally, foot. Literally, mm. you see Louis Vuitton pigiles yeah. and they got like so kicks, um, so Kate's the pointy toe ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, so those are like. Yeah, so I, I don't. Notice, I notice you ain't got your nails done. What's, what's that about? Um, you not rate that to get your nails done? I love having my nails done, but you know, you get them long or short. I actually grow my own nails. I don't wear fake nails anymore. I grow mm. my own nails. But do you like them long or short? Can I answer the question? Go on. So I love them long, mm. but what was happening was that I was getting um, gel nails. Mm. So you know what gel nails are? Shellac. Yeah. Oh. So it's like a nail varnish, but you, you cure it under a light yeah. mm. and it hardens your nails. Mm-hmm. But then what was happening, the skin under my nails was growing up under it and it was really yeah. painful. Oh. So then every now and again, I give my nails a complete break, break yeah. and I just yeah. let them grow out. Mm. And also the shellac kind of damages them a little bit. Because you so, have to file it off to Yeah, get it off, yeah. So it you? makes That's my nails really thin. Yeah. I hate having to file it off. When you was off. younger, did you start like, like long, longer nails? Um... I think when I first was signed, I always had long, fake nails. Mm. But again, as well, the upkeep, and then they always get caught. When they get caught, is that not agony, <gasps> babe? It's a whole agony you don't hey, listen, even understand. breaking <laughs> a nail will bring you to tears. Exactly. Like, literally, it's happened to so me so So that's why times. I started having my own nails, because my own nails grow really long, but yeah. then when they break, they break. break yeah. They don't get caught and rip off, like, when you've got, you know, um, extensions on. Mm. But, you yeah, know, mm. I love long nails. They're really sexy, but mm. it's just like, I'm having a break right now, babe. <laughs> so you got your lashes done. Well, these are strip lashes. I have. I used to have the individuals. I've mm. got something for you. Have you? Because I've got my own strip lashes, oh. and I've got a girl here today, oh. so at least I can I give you some of my lashes. Because um, uh, when I had individual lashes, made all my own lashes fall yeah, out, yeah, so I don't yeah. really I do the, have yeah. them as much now. That's why I, I prefer that's to do why strip. I did, um, strips. And what I use is because I wear eyeliner anyway. You know the eyeliner glue, so you do the I eyeliner, and then well. the lashes stick on the glue. Yeah, yeah, I, I do those instead because the glue will rip out my own lashes again. So, yeah, yeah. it's too girly for you, isn't mm. it? Yeah, what do you think about like, um, you know, like everyone following the same fashion? Do you uh, think it's? Do you think it's better? Do to you be, follow the same? Do fashion? you think it's better to be? Well, I kind of do. What fashion is that? Just like I'm saying, from from the young, from young in it, like you know, what I mean, we know about Moschino. Like I used to wear. I used to wear... Um, Karkani. I used to wear... Yeah, I used to wear Karkani, bullet holes. Do you know what all I used to wear? Click suits. Do you remember click, click suits? Do you understand? Yeah. Click, I was about to say click yeah. suits, yeah. Do you, get, do you yeah. get what I'm trying to say? My then stepdad, it changed. he then was it changed. Jamaican. Yeah. Then it changed so I used to, to get his leftover with click suits. Then I had about three. Then it changed to something else. Do yeah. you get what I'm saying? So then man followed, didn't it? But yeah. fashion is so fashion, innit, babe? No, but you get what I'm saying? I'm just saying fashion is fashion, innit? But again, like I said, because I make my own clothes. But I still think... I also have my own fashion. So. I was about to say, I still think in our day we had more of an individual kind of... But did we? I don't know. Now you're saying it like that. I do. 
I think it was a bit more. But so at one point, when everybody was going down to Brick Lane and buying all their clothes in the vintage shops, and everyone thought they looked individual, but they all looked the same. Yeah, I'm going mad. I'm going mad. The amount of people that had had the same. Yeah, but I remember when I used to. My mum, like she was very like into fashion when Mm. we was growing up. Yeah, my mum had like the Jamaicans are the living fashionable. My mum had one side shade with the blonde hair, and she used to get like a dressmaker. And Jamaicans were the number one for that. You know, like the big earrings and everything. Like I remember when we used to wear big earrings and like people used to say oh, that was heavy like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. like it's but you know like now it's just normal everyone but, does it do you know yeah. what I mean but yeah definitely um before it was more like your background inspired your um yeah inspired and your I think fashion. Jamaicans were the number ones for that yeah, because they on. would go to dance or yeah the string they, vest you yeah the string vest but they would everything. always have their out you're right they would have their outfits designed and yeah, made, made and they'd have everything the rah, rah matching skirts, one yeah. side short and that yeah. with the with the jaw, you know, like the bangles and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamaicans are top of top trendsetters. See, like, when you're, um, when you're looking a man or whatever, yeah, which you will be soon, probably, yeah. <laughs> you get me? You must see, yeah, you're going to realise. I don't look man, man, but looking listen, right, but I was cool, going to say. But see, but for you, for, for you, when they're looking you, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you to accept I'm the look, couple dating For you to accept the lookings, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what are you looking for? Do they need to be in designer or... Like, what are you looking for in no. fashion, fashion, fashion wise? So, on, 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 yeah, oh, so you're on the dating side. Fashion wise. Yeah. Let me just, oh, let me just ask you. Because I was going to say, what do you ask for? Fashion wise, let her answer this, please. Fashion wise. Yeah. Fashion wise. Um, I, like I said, again, because when you wear homemade clothes, you have no issue with someone not wearing designer. But yeah. I do like someone well put together. And yeah. I think I like someone who's kind of got their own sense of style mm. and a little bit eccentric or eclectic, because I am. So we'll we'll ma- we'll mesh when we go out, and I'm wearing some freaky outfit, and he's in his freaky oh, so you outfit. Like both of you together. Yeah, yeah. we we'll both be looking freaky together. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you just do all the sorry, small... babe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This okay. is a lot of smoke. My throat, my throat is hurting me. Just so everyone knows, don't worry. You can come on there, and I won't smoke. You get me? She's giving me a bad. You well, get what I'm saying? You, you said man could smoke in it. When we had the athletes. Hmm? That's yeah, what I'm saying. If she, if she, she said right, stop, no smoking. Stop now then. If she said no smoking. <laughs> Give me a this. break. Yeah. And then I was going to say to you, since I've had COVID, yeah, and I lost my smell and taste, mm. now sometimes when I smell certain things, yeah. they taste, they smell and taste weird. weird. And weed smells like um, porn star martini. Mm. Do you know, I forgot does, that. It doesn't smell like that to you, does it? It no. smells we like forgot, weed. We forgot to that me, it smells the, like um, porn star martini. We forgot that on the current affairs, the new Maybe variant. Maybe it's what he's smoking. The new variant. No, but all weed oh, really? smells like that to me, yeah. Yeah, and for okay. ages, it's gone, it's, it's, it's better now, but everything used to smell like that and taste like that at one point after I had it, and now it's only certain things, but weed has that smell. When did you have COVID? Because we forgot Last that year, on the September. Um, current affairs about the Last year, variant. September. Yeah, what do you think about that new variant? Uh, about? Whatever's. We've just got to get used to it. Oh and I'm, I'm a herbalist anyway, so mm. I just do what I need to do to protect myself. And if I get it... Like when I got it, I got rid of it and I was fine. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Yeah. Omicron, I see something Omicron plus the B from Biden, it equals. You could use. No crimbo. Let- could- yeah, you could use the letters to make no crimbo. <laughs> Did you not see the video of the woman um, on the train that didn't want the lady to sit down next to her? No. no what happened? You didn't see it? No. Oh you my did- gosh, it's so funny. So there's a lady on there, she's got a mask, but she's on a chair that's got for more than one person. Yeah. So a woman, a black lady comes over to try and sit down and she basically isn't having... Is this she's English like, or American? Yeah, this is on an English train. Uh. Um, she, and she wouldn't let her sit down on the train. And then um, she's like, um, you haven't got a mask on or whatever. And then another lady just comes and just sits down next to her. But the, she's like saying, there's new strains out there. <laughs> you need to be having a mask and you're not social distancing. it." But this, the video is just too funny. We might have to, I'm going to send you the clip. We might have to post it because mm. it's actually too funny. Yeah. yeah. Some people are really taking it seriously, but I agree with you. Well, I think you should protect yourself. And yeah. I, I don't, was you in Napa that year when everybody had swine flu? Definitely not. I was there and obviously Napa's really small. Everyone's in the same venues. A lot of them are underground. And me and all my friends, we didn't catch it. Everyone else got it, but we didn't get it. And the thing that we did like religiously was anti-back, anti-back, anti-back. So I would say when you're out and about anti-back, when I'm gigging, mm-hmm. like people always want to come yeah, up to come me, and kiss me and Jabs, hug me. I go to. home, I shower, yeah. I steam my throat. I have my little, my little toddy with my honey ginger you know, um, turmeric, black seed oil, like I have my little thing. And touch wood, I've been fine. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, even when I yeah. got it, I was fine. So, I, you know, you've got to take responsibility for your own health, haven't you? You can't just believe these people like, have our best interests at heart because yeah, they no. don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. 
think it's what they say anyway. You know my my views on that. Oh, I definitely think it's it's a pandemic, but it doesn't mean it's not happening, and it doesn't mean that we can't take protocols to kind of protect ourselves. Yeah. Listen, every episode. Yeah, I thought you was gonna not smoke it anymore. I'm not. Every episode, yeah, <laughs> we give them a dilemma. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we have a dilemma. Yeah. For us free to give um. Give them advice. Yeah. Or whatever. Okay. So what's the dilemma? Do you want to this, dilemma? this is um their RTM podcast show. I've been with my fiance for nine years and we plan to get married next year. I really want to have surgery on my bum so I can look good for the wedding, as I've always been insecure about how flat it is. But my fiance is totally against it, saying he loves me how I am. I've wanted my breasts done for years as well, but he has repeatedly insisted that I don't need them done. I really love him and can't imagine living my life without him, but I also really want this surgery done. Have you got any advice, please? And I love the show, by the way. Keep it up, you guys. Thank you. But, um... <laughs> you want to go? Go on, you do go first, actually. Go um, on. I think in this day and age, if there's something you don't like about yourself and you can't truly love yourself without that thing, then mm. do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I have no problem with people... I mean, that some people take it too far and they look like caricatures. Yeah. But I think... You if, can enhance a little here. Yeah, and, and I, yeah. Um, I think it's lovely that her partner um, loves her how she how is. How she is, mm. yeah. And, um, but if she wants to get it done, I'll just get it done. I mean, he could break up with her and then she's with her flat batty. You get me? So She could still get it done. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's so funny. Remember I was saying to you that I never used to have a batty, yeah? I didn't have surgery, even though you said my butt is still flat. But I then, I learned how to train my butt and I put yeah. weight on over the years. So yeah. now I've got a little butt. But I remember one year I was doing this show at Hackney Empire and it was with, you know, Little Miss Jocelyn. And she did this like homage to the vagina monologues and it was called the batty monologues. Yeah. And we had to like say these different things about our batty. And I said, babe, I said, I've got no bum. Yeah. And she goes, that's all right. It's just for a bit of fun. So yeah. I'm really starting these lyrics. My batty is this, my batty is that, it's curvy. Yeah. And you know, it's Hackney Empire. Yeah. Some Jamaican woman shout from the audience, Girl, your body flat. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel her pain. Yeah. Girlfriend, if you haven't been able to grow it in the gym, go get your body. Yeah. Get yourself I am down mad at you. Gym. I am mad at you. Get if yourself he down loves the gym, your man. flat back, then do you know what I mean? Don't worry married. about it. Yeah, but you're getting married to the guy. It depends on why she wants to do it. If you're doing it for him and he said that he loves you the way you are, you don't need it. But mm. if you want to do it... For self-esteem. For self-esteem, yeah. for your, your reasons, for you, because that's... I wouldn't do it for no one else but for me mm. do you understand but if you want to do it for your reasons I would say a little enhancement like you lot could compromise yeah like just say babes you know what you said it's long it's he's making not on me that. feel he's do you know what I mean that. then maybe you could well, do, do you know what my friend does thing. she does the suction thing does that work yeah it's good it? I've had a few but I haven't had enough for it to be yeah. I think you've got to have five in a row yeah. and then you just have maintenance. But I've seen the body people, sculpting thing. Yeah, so she put no, but she puts these suction things on your booty oh, and then it sucks your bum yeah, up into yeah, it. And yeah. it probably lifts up your booty. It works. I've seen people with flat batty and then they got batty. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like BBL batty. Really? Yeah, and then she does the wood thing on your waist as on like yeah, wood is yeah, you. Yeah, wood, yeah. It gives you the good wood, you get yeah. me? Watch that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're just thinking about good wood, look. Good wood. <laughs> That's the type of good wood I like. <laughs> Sculpt the one that does your body yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think? I know I said I work in a sport no more, but that was too crazy. Oh, my god. What do you think? What do I think? I yeah, think just think? I, I think just calm yourself down, get yourself down to the gym, because mm -hmm. you, you're going to marry this guy, you want to marry the guy, do you get what I'm saying? You love this guy, you can't imagine <laughs> living your life without him and all of that. Do you get what I'm saying? So he thinks it's cool, it's fine. So what you do, you just get yourself down the gym, do some squats, like, do you know what I mean? You can't live for food, yourself, though. Eat some mm. hard food. Now, live for yourself, you obviously. Live for yourself. That's what I was saying. But it depends. Yeah. You're getting married. You're getting married, so it's not. you can't live for yourself because you're now be honest, getting into something with someone else. I can't believe it, someone not going, you know I mean? like, working out before getting married because everyone always wants to look their best, so they go to the gym, yeah. they eat well. I'm saying they go. she's entering a partnership. She might you just have saying? a flat body, babe. Yeah, 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 but she must she's always, she's look obviously a certain had that. type in their dress. She's all, yeah, yeah, maybe she's going for the man made And yeah, to be fair, the world we live in now, it's so commonplace. Yeah, so she's just maybe. And that's another thing, coming up to your wedding. Don't overly look at other other places because, do you know what I mean? Just mm. focus on the stuff that you like because if you start comparing yourself to everyone else, yeah. 
you're not gonna be happy. If your man yeah. loves you how you are, girlfriend, that Just, is a blessing. Yeah. And embrace that. But I get it. If you wanna do a little something here, a little something there, then do it. Mm. You know? He obviously does because he's marrying her, isn't it? Plus, yeah, like, he married, like if so. I started to look haggard, I'd go get a facelift. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not against that type of thing. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. I feel like women have to stay, have to have to have some form of grooming and upkeep. You've got to, yeah. do you know what I mean? We're judged so harshly yeah. by men. We yeah. are. And as soon as we start to get and old... And each other even as well. That's true. But I think that, no, again, that's because of men. Yeah. 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 Because of man. The, yeah, but it's a woman in the crowd. It that was said a that. woman, but she was mm. a Jamaican woman. Mm. <laughs> and most Jamaicans have got batty. I just yeah. didn't have any. My mum's got batty. My dad family flat, flat batty. In fact, their <laughs> batty's are concave. <laughs> like their batty's go in. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's alright. I got a little something now. I'm blessed. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful. But that yeah. took many years. Squatting didn't help me, you know. Squats wasn't the thing. Mm. It was other things that got my batty to grow. Yeah. Oh man. Get yourself down the gym, man. Don't worry about your surgery, man. I'm not, I, don't, I don't rate surgery. But, okay, well, but to be fair, is what, what she's not thinking about as well is that even if she had surgery and she's thinking I could get it done before the wedding, the aftermath after surgery, like you've got to wear all them, all in the things, what they call the... the you got to wear a stuff. faha and mm. all that and then she's going to be swollen for ages because my friend did a BBL. You can't sit on your mm. bum mm. for like months. Mm. So, you, do you know what, yeah? If you really, really... If he's something so crazy for you, then you're going to have to talk to him and just say, look, I really, really want this, da 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 and then... You're gonna have to he compre- if he loves you, where he's gonna have to love you with your mad ass. Do you get what I'm saying or whatever? <laughs> he's gonna love the ass when she yeah, gets yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's exactly. not gonna love the ass mm. unless it's ridiculous. But he's gonna love the ass. Do you know what I mean? But he might just be against that, innit? What? Some people do like natural beauty. Yeah, he might not want to feel the hard, the hard thing. But yeah, every episode we give him a book to go and read. Oh. As well. This episode is the lie that made me. By Mark Tugwell. What's it about? I'm going to read the synopsis now. They called me the scary movie because of the terror I caused feeding my thousand pound a day drug habit. Mm. The lie that made me is my true life story. After a total of 23 years behind bars, relearning how to walk and finally kicking my drug habit, I want the next generation to learn from my many mistakes. I miss too much of my life in jail from the funeral of my baby mother because of her heroin overdose to my children growing up and the opportunity I had to build a life. My IPP finishes when I'm 134, which means even though I have been released from prison, probation still have the option to see me whenever they like until the day I die. My story is the harsh reality of what happens when you give your life to the road. Mm. Yeah, that's Dad Mark. Would have loved that. Mark Tugwell. What was the book last week? The Lie That Made Me. Mm. It's on top, was the book last week. Mm. By Reggie Stepper. But yeah, give this one a good, a little read. Get me someone. Have you read it? Wrote a book. No, I ain't read it. That's mm. what I'm saying. Give this one a little read. Mm. You know what I mean? Someone from the hood, obviously. Mm-hmm. IPP, trying to do a thing. Stan needs a book as well. Mm. Definitely. get all the stunner. But yeah, man, thank you, Kelly, man. It's a pleasure. Thank you, man, for it's coming a, through, man. It's a pleasure. Because I know you're a busy girl, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? And just want to give you, make sure they, um, where can they check you out? Check out your um, So my socials are, are at Kelly Leroc, which is K-E-L-E-L-E-R-O-C. Um, but I also want to plug my um, new mixtape. So mm. during lockdown, myself and a very good friend of mine, Stilo, do you know Stilo? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, come, yeah, yeah. We released a mixtape. We wrote it in three days. We yeah. wrote and recorded it in three days. It's called um, Libra Juice because mm. we're both Librans. Mm. So if you go to LibraJuice.com, it's a free download or you can stream it or whatever. Just check it out and let me know what you think of it. I'm really proud of it because the fact that we did it in three days is yeah. dope, though. Yeah. It's proper yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, and yeah. Um, yeah. I normally follow back people that follow me anyway, so if you holler at me, I'll holler back. I've got some small, so, because I sold out on the other side, oh, but I've got a girl side, really the most. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. Hey. Face mask. I appreciate that. I've got the last one for ice cream. Cheers. Thank you, darling. I will wear this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Wear it to the toilet, innit? Thank you to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Follow the queen. 
cream ice cream the poster girl on instagram queen ice cream tv on youtube and don't forget to follow poster girl lashes follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray on instagram at young underscore spray on twitter follow the page at rtm podcast show www.reallythemost.com are they all going to be on are they going to be on the screen now yeah yeah I'm just at Kelly um, Rock on Insta, at Kelly Rock on Twitter, at Kelly Rock on Facebook, Kelly Rock TV on uh, YouTube and on Twitter. I'm Kelly LaRock Rock. Kelly LaRock on No, sh- no, what's TikTok? I'm Kelly LaRock Rock. <laughs> she is realer than, than most. most. <laughs>